Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hi, Hi Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So, um, so this is weird, weird for us to kind of do a regular auction in the middle of Wednesday. You usually, you usually just do your one-offs and what the heck? sometimes <laughs> a guest, sometimes by myself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of like doing them, um, a little bit earlier because we're in volleyball season and like uh, the girls have a volleyball game at six o'clock tonight, which I'm not going to go to. Um, I've already decided not to go to that. Um, so yeah. During Has Angelina played again since her injury? Is nope. this going to be her first one? Nope. She's decided to take definitely this whole week off. Okay. And then we'll reevaluate it for next week and see. Okay. No, she's, uh, she's not playing. She's just, supporting her team right now you know nope. she goes to the games but she's on the bench okay yeah she's fine she, i just yeah. want it to be 100 percent. right yeah so she's uh but you guys i have to say i i was I, I i sent a picture to t oh my god i, I know i know i know he's like she's she's like she sent me a face slap like are you kidding me donna <laughs> So I so I did send out just about everything that I sold yesterday from the garage. It was eleven lots. I, I all but one, I think, maybe two. Um, and I do have some orders from last week that I owe to you guys. But you guys, honestly, I I kind of took the day off of shipping this morning. Um, so I will get on it tomorrow for sure. You want me to show them why you took a day off this morning? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show them. It's not done, but the girls wanted to do something this morning and I didn't have the heart to say no. And I know you guys understand because you guys know me. I usually ship them out like immediately. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful though. It's beautiful. It's not done. It's not done. It's just, you know, I just, we just put a, a few things on. So that's what, that's what me and the girls did this morning. We put up our Christmas tree. The girls wanted to put up the Christmas tree. I, I didn't have the heart to say no. So I just walked away from everything for a second. And I said, yeah, let's put up. A I'm going to put this picture in my living room because I'm not putting one up this year. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll print it out for you and, and send it okay. to you. And you can just pin it on the wall. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I actually, I actually bought that from um, my estate lady, the lady that cleans out estates. It's something balsam. And I looked it up and it's $1,800 for that Christmas tree. Who pays $1,800 for a fake Christmas tree? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But it's beautiful, beautiful. And um, I think that we've all been kind of stressed out lately, all of us, especially with the whole election thing and just the kids too. We've been stressed out in the house and something about a Christmas tree in the house. And I've put a Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving before. This is not unusual for us to put one up early, but um, something about a Christmas tree in the house. I just think it adds so much warmth and it, it, it looks so beautiful in the corner there. Your I'm glad that she paid 700. Huh? Susanna said she paid 700 for a Christmas tree. It's crazy. I hate to tell you what I paid for that. I paid nothing. Yeah. I paid absolutely nothing for it. I was so thankful, but let's say hello to some of our friends. Let's take a few minutes. Hi, Sandra. Thank hey, you for Sandra. being here. Christopher, honey, I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling okay. Woodbine girl. Hey, Woodbine girl. Hi. Thanks for being here. Sergeant Spork. Sergeant Spork. It was a rough day today. I was attacked by a group of mini artists. They mime, 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 mime. Mime? Yeah, mime. Mime artists. They did unspeakable things to me. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> yeah, now, don't pronounce that word right. You don't get it. <laughs> no, doesn't make sense. Mini, mini artists. <laughs> they did unspeakable things to me. I was like, what do you mean, mini artists? Where are you living now, <laughs> Sergeant Spork? That there's many artists running around. He's so funny. Wheels and Deals, hello and welcome. Wes, yes, this hey, is going to be an auction eventually. Donna Summers, yay. Hello, hello. She's one of the ones I have to ship out to. Hi, honey. 
Um, let's see. I always feel guilty when I don't, when I don't get things out right away. I, I hate that guilt. Hi, hi. hi. June bug. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. June bug. Susanna. Hi, honey. Hello. You keep it warm up there in new England. My friends tell me it's cold. Not today. It's not. No. Mm -mm. Hot mess thrifter. It was warm. It's going to get warm all week. It's going to be 70 by the weekend. Hey, Leslie. Welcome in, honey. Shell UK. Hello, Joanna Young. Welcome. Jen Bennett. Hi, honey. Hello, sweetheart. Lucinda. Hey, Lucinda. Mama G's in the house. Mama G. Hi, Mama G. Thanks for being here. Let us know if you can stay and help Mama G. If you can't, I perfectly understand. Um, dun, 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 dun. I'm just trying to remember what that, that song is from. Jonathan Roseberry. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan. Roseberry. Hello, sweetheart. Paige and Chris. Hello. Get them trees up. It's time. Yep. I'm so Thank glad you. that it's up. Yeah, it's Donna. You, she will. We'll, we'll remind you. You need to wrench Joanne. Okay, I will. Secondhand Muse, hello and welcome. Hey, Secondhand Muse. Nikki D. Hey, Nikki D. Leon. Hi, hey, Leon. Go, dog, go. Hey, go, dog, go. Put these lights down in January, then put them back up under lockdown to bring cheer to the neighborhood. Oh, that's, I love that. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna decorate outside too this year. I'm gonna decorate. I'm gonna decorate early outside. I, I just love that it's up. It just feels so good. And, you know, it's like you you move everything and you clean before you set it all up, and it just feels so clean and fresh and awesome. I love it. Steve Vash, hi honey, welcome. Not bad in Southern Massachusetts. Okay, good. Yeah, it's warmer up here. It's it's definitely warmer up here. This this whole week is going to be warm and sunny. Rise up. You're not lurking, honey, if you write lurking in the chat. That means, <laughs> that means you're not lurking. <laughs> that means you're part of it. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for lurking. <laughs> thank you for being here. I haven't decorated outside in years. I'm going to this year. Good. Awesome, Heidi. Awesome, awesome. That's great. And Heidi's making a whole bunch of stuff for me for the girls volleyball team, which is awesome. I'm so excited to see it all. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. For um, senior night. So she's making like personalized things. That's some, um, the news stations all alerting me that they're going live. There must be doing some sort of update. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I was up. I, I know I talked to T about it. I was up like every two hours last yeah. night. Yeah going on to see if there was any changes, if there was any announcements. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. It was like I had a you know a baby. Oh, I'm kidding. We're gonna hear another we're we're gonna uh do another four weeks of counting and another four years of complaining. So get ready. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> I just I just have one question. You, 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 you've asked me already. <laughs> I just have one question. And if anybody knows the answer to this question, because I was on a channel last night, it was uh, Pete the Patriot. And all they do is talk about kind of, um, um, you know, political stuff. And I asked the question in the chat several times. First of all, YouTube didn't show the question. And then finally I asked the question and no one in the chat, answered it but pete i think he tried to answer it right mm -hmm. did he try to answer it right but did he answer it not really <laughs> he tried to so here's the question this is the question that i have you guys the big question how can they determine who won a state when the majority i think i'm not sure of ballots were mail-in ballots. Have they counted those ballots or how did they count all those ballots? And how They're still counting them that I know. So how can they determine who the winner is with the ballots not being counted yet? I mean, 
it's like snail mail, right? We're using snail mail for the ballots. And the and T sent me a package a week and a half ago, and it went out priority, which is supposed to come in three days, and it took 14 days to arrive. So I, I just I just I don't understand. I don't understand some count early, Mama G says. I know well, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, they're still counting and they're only 50% through the count, and they said they may not be done until after Friday. They can tell how many ballots were mailed and base it off of how big the gap is in ballots already counted. They guess. It's a guessing game? I don't know. That's the same thing with like last night. Now, I know New York always goes blue, but like 509, they call New York. Like, I don't know how they can do that when if there's mail-in ballots, they're not counted yet, and only 10% of the precincts are reporting. Obviously, they do it based on what the tradition is, but I don't know. I mean, are they, is it, a, they're, they're basing it on guessing? I don't know. It's just really, really weird. We have been wondering the same thing. I know, and nobody asks this question. I even asked my husband, you know, and he's like, I don't know. T, I don't know. <laughs> nobody knows the answer to this question. I mean, I just, you know, it's uh, holes are worthless. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be a big mess. And I was, uh, you know, I, I don't care who you voted for. And you guys, some of you know, and some of you don't know my political stance. I didn't care, honestly, who won, as long as it was fair. And as long as it was by a great margin. Because regardless now, because it's going to be so close, it sounds like, there's going to be back and forth and hanging chads and all this other nonsense for weeks upon end. It's going to take up so much time and energy. That's what annoys me. So uh, Leslie says, I think it has to arrive by the 6th, but postmarked by the 4th. If a candidate needs 50,000 to win, but there's only 40,000 ballots left to count, then they know who wins. That makes, that makes like, that to me is crazy. Like that makes no sense that they just, that it just doesn't make any sense. Flipping it good. Because if someone is ahead for, let's say, 90,000 and there are 80,000 more to count, it will not affect the results. So I guess when they say your vote counts, it really doesn't count. We can all figure out who will likely win, laugh out loud, just whether people choose to accept it, which is why I do not watch the news now. I will read it once a day and wait for them to figure it out. Yeah. They called some of local at 11 p.m. How is that? They called some of local at 11 p.m. How is that? Am I reading it wrong? Uh, I'm not sure what June is asking. Oh, thank you, Shelly. Thanks, Shelly. Mickey D, don't we love attorneys? Trump just sent Rudy, PA, and Michigan. Then that sounds like a guessing game, right? It does. I wrote in T for president. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Hi, Sharice. Hey, Sharice. Does that, does that make me her vice president? <laughs> I don't know. Pat D says he wrote in Louie. <laughs> That's very funny. All right. So 50 to start. <laughs> All right, Wes. All right. I just wanted to ask that question and I wanted to, um, and I wanted to just explain why I didn't get my shipping done today. But it will get all done tomorrow. Uh oh, Austin's gonna bark. Massimo's pulling into the driveway. He gets excited when he hears Massimo coming. I can hear the truck. Thank you, James. <laughs> Fortunately, with the with the way 
that I, I, first of all, I would never want to, honestly, I would never want to be, I, I love politics, but I would not want to run. They would find out so much dirt about tea that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> really? Really? They find out dirt about everybody. They'll find out about, like, you know, some boy I was in high school or something. I don't want them to live through that nonsense. Really? You know? <laughs> Rise up. Totally bust in. Come here, baby. Boss. Come here, mama. Come here. Oh, come here. He loves Massimo. It's his brother. His brother just pulled it. Come here. Come up. Come up here. He's an Australian shepherd. Come up here. Come up here. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? Come here. Come here. Oh, there. Come on. Come on. He's not. He's he's never once. He's 11 years old. He's never once ever showed his teeth like out of anger. Like he's the sweetest. He has a ferocious bark, but that's all it is, is a ferocious bark, which is good because, you know, scares people away. Um, but he's not everybody. Everybody that's been with us for a long time knows Boston. He's he's an absolute darling. He's a sweetheart. Um, let's see. Don says, when I went to vote last night, they asked for my address without giving any identification. Don, when my daughter went to go vote for the first time, they questioned her driver's license. They asked for her ID and they questioned her driver's license and she called us because she went at six o'clock in the morning to go vote. It's her first time voting. And um, and she called us at six o'clock in the morning and she said, um, she's like, Mama, where did I get my driver's license? Because we have two places we where we can get it. And I said, you got it in Stewart. And then my husband was like, no, she got it in Palm Beach Gardens. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 because I was confused because Chessie got hers in Stewart. And I thought it was Angelina. I get them mixed up all the time. I know they're my kids, but I get them mixed up. And um, and so my husband was all up in an uproar. He's like, well, what are they asking you? Like, what do they want to know? And and she said, they're just questioning where I got my driver's license. Why would they do that? I mean, it's official. It's got all the holograms on it and everything. I don't know. I, I like what um, <clears throat> Shelly said. If T had a dog named Boston and they had a party, it would be the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, Janine. Hey, Janine. Hello, Sylvia. Welcome. Have you talked to Chris the Goose? Yeah, I spoke to him maybe 10 minutes before the auction. Why? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Why? Why do you ask, Sandy? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm hoping I'm hoping for a good night's sleep tonight. Hi, Tony. Hey, Tony. Tell them she got it at Pep Boys, <laughs> Tony. Uh, let me just text this person back one second. Oh, he never said a word to me, Sandy, so I don't think he's that upset about it. <laughs> Because we were up all night with him fighting back and forth about masks. He was upset last night. About masks? And where were they fighting back and forth? I don't know. Night? I don't know. That's I don't night. know. <laughs> oh. oh, Leon. Sorry, honey. I think the whole... Uh, I think everybody in the world is feeling like that right now, Leon, not just you, which is why I put up my Christmas tree today <laughs> to try to cheer everybody up, to try to just bring some, I, we all need some good, positive. We all cheer. just need 2020 to go away. <laughs> That's what 2020, we all need. 2020 needs to go away for sure. Yeah. Oh, on Kathy's channel. Mm. Gosh, I don't know what happened there, but I hope it wasn't anything so, so bad. See, what do you have today? Um, what do I have today? Well, I don't have any 45s because I sold them all. I don't have any ratchet sets because I sold them all. <laughs> but I have some other stuff. I don't know. I'll bring, I'll bring some. Actually, I might bring a whole big thing of books because that's the next thing I want to go out. I might just like just say, here's 40 pounds of books. Whoever wants them, they'll be all over the place. And uh, I'm going to have some worn off pieces of clothes. 
and some oh i might have a piece of jewelry today okay all right sounds good i have some clothes i have some jewelry i have um oh i have some mickey stuff i have some art supplies i have um I have a collection of Disney mugs. Oh my gosh, you know how I hate to ship breakables though, but they're really awesome. I have a hey, really Victoria. Hey Sandy. I have a really unusual um uh, I have a dibble box. I have a really unusual um Yes, Janine, the wrench sets, yes. <laughs> oh, did my chat stop? Did you were you saying hi to Sandy Kirk or oh just Sandy, just, just Sandy. Sandy's here. Hi yeah. honey. And Victoria. Hey, Victoria. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Sandy. It's okay, sweetheart. Um, Adventures in reselling. Hello, hello, hello. And Leticia came in. If you guys, if you came in and I didn't see you come in, I'm sorry. We were just kind of talking and um, yeah. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you everyone that's taken their time out of their busy day to come out here this afternoon and hang out with us. And it's gonna be, you know, just more like a talk and, um, you know, no, no stress, you guys, just no stress. I just like no stress. <sighs> Deep breaths, everyone, right? We all, hi Denise, we all just need to take deep breaths. Um, do you want me to start T or do yeah, you want to start? No, go ahead. You go. I, I, you know, I, let me see. What do I have here? I have, I kind of have to get up Boston. You're going to have to move baby. I'm not Hold sure if you called Boston in and wanted to hug and kiss him and everything. Now you're kicking him out of the room. I know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Chris, poor Boston. Him shallow. Okay, I have hey, a very usual lot. You guys, I tell me whether or not I should split this up into two lots or whether I should, I'd love to sell it all to one person. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, let me put myself on full screen. You want to stay on the side, honey, or you want to go on the back? No, put me in the back. So I'm going to have to get up to put my lots together, my stuff. Okay. Nobody um, needs to this whole there. entire bin, you guys, I, I have to decide whether to do it, split it up. Somebody wants to like corner the market on this stuff. You can buy the whole bin. I'd love for one person to buy it all. It's going to be expensive to ship out. So this entire bin is filled with vintage Girl Scout. Um, some of it, some of it actually still has the prices on it. Um, it's a combination of it's all everything in here is Girl Scouts, everything. Oh, and Sandy, it, that sounds painful. Sorry. What's that? She had all her teeth pulled. Who did? Sandy. Just Sandy? Yeah. Oh, honey. All right. Well, it's gonna get better. Um. So. So yeah, so this is what it is. It's Girl Scout and there is, there's a market for these. I know that the Girl Scout, um, the dresses, the actual like troop leader dresses, I mean, some of them may have a spot here and there on them. See, there's a spot right there. Um, what do you think you guys? Let me know in the chat. What do you want me to do with this? You want me to split it up into two lots? Is anybody interested in Girl Scout uniforms? There's a ton, and most of them are all vintage. This whole entire tub, and then there's, um, see, like, these are, like, the vintage, these are tops. These are the vintage Girl Scout tops. You can see the vintage tags. I was a Girl Scout, too. I was a Girl Scout. I was a brownie. I was a Girl Scout, and I was a cadet. But this it's a huge, huge box. You guys, let me know. What do you think? Is there any interest at all in them? I know, like, this is the dress, and some of the dresses do sell well. I don't know about the other stuff. I didn't look the other stuff up. I looked up the dresses. Um, 
Some of them have patches on them. Any interest, kids? And then the whole bottom of it, like this one here is super, super old. It's even like, looks like it's like disintegrating a little bit from how old it is. Look at it. It's got holes in it, um, but it's got the patches on it, which the patches sometimes can be even more valuable than the than the actual clothes. Look at all the patches. Oh, on yeah. Um, I know people do well with the patches. So... Is anybody making comments? Um, well, Janine said one lot. And then Emville, hey, Emville said, I was in the French Girl Guides. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. But there's um, there's even Leon socks. Says he's leaving. Goodbye, Leon. Goodbye, Leon. There's socks. There's sashes. There's bandanas. The whole bottom of this bin is... Um, of all kinds of like I don't remember these does anybody remember these uh, I don't remember these where did they wear these I don't no, it looked like an armband of some sort I don't remember if we wore those because of some to honor something you know how sometimes you wear black uh, uh, you know black armbands yeah there's brownie socks so on the bottom of it is all the different Here's remember the bow tie that you wore with the little white with the little shirt. Oh, Junebug says they go around your sock. Oh, they do they? Up, yeah, they held up your socks. All right. Nobody wants to make me an offer and, and um see if um Tom, your knee socks. Hey, do you it? I'll put it away. Stop showing it. No one's interested. Did you want to give them an idea of what you wanted to start it at? I don't know what Second hand muse is going to give you 50 for it. 50? Um, how much do you think it's going to cost to ship out? I could probably do it in two bundles. Might be able to do it in two bundles. Um, second hand muse, can you go 60? Including shipping? It's huge, and there's a lot here. Look. Big she'll, do, she'll, do, she'll do 60. You you'll do 60? Sold. Sold for 60. All right, let me get rid of it. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Boston, move, baby. Move, honey. Oops, sorry. I scared him. Aw. <laughs> when I dropped the bucket. <laughs> well, baby. All right, thank you. Anybody else? We're going to sell it. $60. Girl Scouts. Thank you. You should be able to make your money back, honestly, on like two dresses of that. And there's so many in there. Okay, let's sold. Secondhand use. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Okay. Awesome. Let's get another lot. Let's get, oh, you know what? Let's get these mugs. Boston, oh, you're going to make me fall. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty out in the living room. I worked so hard though, honestly. Okay, this is going to be a one-off. I'm going to do this. Might be a nice gift for someone. It's really beautiful. I'm going to start this at $15. It's made in Thailand. It comes in this beautiful box. There's a little story you can see the box is beautifully lined and on the bottom it says hand painted in thailand and look at how beautiful this is pretty 
Yeah, it's really beautiful. So this can be a one-off. I'll give you up close on it. Whoops. It's an excellent condition. Reminds me of those beautiful eggs I had. $15 for the beautiful dish. It can be for jewelry. It can be for anything. Or even if you're giving a piece of jewelry. Let me see, Bobo. Cute. It so cute. It's so cute. The coach was cleaning out the um, athletic locker and came across a bunch of um, old athletic gear and gave my daughter some old athletic gear. So we were like soaking them in um, in um, OxyClean this morning. Yeah, we soaked them in. Bo, come show. Come show them your jacket. Look how cute. It's probably from like the 80s. Yeah, it's really old. And it's got her number on it. She's number one. Mm -hmm. So it's so cute. It came out real white, didn't it? Yeah. It was so yellow. So her and I were like, nice. you know, with the OxyClean. Yeah. Huh? It looks nice on her. It does, right? With the OxyClean, the two, the two of us were like in the bucket. That was like in between doing the Christmas tree. In the bucket, like trying to, and then I was like scrubbing it, trying to get the yellow, the yellow out of it. Um, okay, nobody's interested in this. <laughs> They're just playing. <laughs> okay, so let's um, let's add this to it. More breakable stuff. Urgh. I hate breakable stuff. These are so you'll get you'll get the wine. Um, you'll get the the box, the beautiful tie box, and then these. This is a porcupine and it's all hand blown glass. And it's a um it's a wine it's a wine stopper, right T? Yep. It's a wine stopper. There's that one. There's this one. And there's this one. All right, Tammy sent a 15. Hi Tammy. So that's pretty cool. So you get the beautiful box and you get the three wine stoppers and I'm going to put this in it too. It's kind of like a mini dibble box. I have no idea what this is. If anybody can read what this is. Tori Hanzo. If you guys want to look it up, um, I'll show you what's in it. I have no idea what, well, I have no idea what this is. This is what's in it. I don't know what that liquid is. It has. It looks like some kind of air freshener or room freshener or. Hmm. This is some sort of like little brass hammer. This has powder in it. This has got powder in it. Hi, Tammy, honey. Does anybody know what this is? And then, oh, I hope I'm not selling, like, something bad. Okay, I, these are, like, two little cartridges. This is how it was found, you guys. I have no idea. And then, hold I'll on. I'll tell you, hon. He says that is used for knife and sword sharpening. Oh, you're kidding. Maybe. I don't know. Sandy said that might be for some type of massage. I don't know. And then this looks. this is definitely an oil, so maybe he's right. For knife sharpening. That's oh, yeah, go to a go says Hantori Hanzi makes swords. Oh, and then there's a like a cloth in here. So so maybe I don't know, but that's everything that's in it. And maybe so this is a file. See? It's a file. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a file. I thought it was a hammer. And this must be the oil that you use for um, for sharpening swords. Yeah, those are bamboo pins for the day so or handle of the sword. Okay, so that's going to go in it too. In this little mini dibble box. All right. And um, let me just... Put it back in this bag. Very 
carefully. So you get the wine stoppers, the beautiful tie box, and the hand sharpening sword thing. Is there any other interest? All right, we have Tammy in at 15, looking for 17. Leslie's in for 17. I'm trying to see if I have anything else that's unusual. Oh, this is, um, here's some uh, brownie journey keepsake. It looks like a little necklace thing. I'm going to put that in with the Girl Scout stuff I just sold. <clears throat> Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything else I can add to that. That's kind of unusual. Moni loves in for 19 now. Thank you. Hold on. I'm looking around to see if there's something else I can add to it. I have so much stuff on these shelves, but I have something in the way that I can't get to stuff. Oh, I remembered, um, was it Tammy that wanted the um, Bohemian glass? I'll have to get back with her on that. All right, hold on. I'm reaching for stuff. I'm reaching. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not ready. That's all for a jam. All right. Oh, hold on. I found something I can include in it. I got something. Hold on. All right. Moni Love in a 24 now. Okay. It's, um, I don't know if it's a complete set, but I'll show you what it is. Okay, so there's there's this, I don't see any chips. There's this awesome paperweight. I don't know if it's glass or crystal. Look at, can you see how awesome that is, the way it's made? It's like three-dimensional inside. Um, is it signed? I don't know, because I know you guys will probably ask me that, but it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's glass to me. I think that this is a chunk of crystal. So I'm going to include that with a lot. And I'm also going to include this um, flatware set. It's The design on it is really pretty. I don't know if it's all here because I didn't count it. All right, Tammy's in a 26 now. It says lion. Is that what it says? Um, something lion stainless yes that's lion stainless is the manufacturer so it's stainless steel it's really beautiful isn't that pretty yeah it's really pretty and then so this is how big the bag is and i don't know if it's a whole set or not but it's all it's called lion stainless very pretty okay so that will be included in also Where's the guitar? Here's the guitar. So you get this and the guitar, the glass guitar, the honing honing set, I guess that's what they call to sharpen knives or, or swords. Um, yeah. And then it's the, um, the beautiful tie box, which I'll make sure that that's wrapped safely before shipping. And then the three stoppers. One, two, three. Pets, where are you? Okay, that's everything. All right. All right. Did we have Moni Love? Did she? Moni, just let us know, hun. 30 to Moni. Thank you, Moni. And you know what? I'm going to throw this in too. This is sterling. 
It's a sterling bracelet. I'm going to put that in there too. Beef it up just a little bit more. Let's move some stuff. All right, Moni's in a 37 now. I'm going to put this in it too. It's another piece of sterling. It says joy on it. And what's nice about this is it's adjustable. And that's sterling silver also. All right, we have Tammy in at 50. Thanks, Tammy. And this is just a just a thin little bracelet. I'm gonna put that in there too. Moni at 55. I'm gonna put this in there too. This is all sterling. The stones have not been tested, but it is sterling. I'll give you up close on it. There's the mark right there. Okay, so that's a pretty bracelet. All right, Tammy comes in at 60 now. So you get some nice pieces of sterling inside the, the jewelry jar now. Mommy's gonna go out. And we're gonna call it once to Tammy. All right. We're sold. For how much? Sixty. Sixty dollars. Nice, nice deal. Okay, small divo. Sixty dollars. To Tammy. Congratulations, Tammy. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. Lot number three. How about if we do this as a one off? This is untested, but it does say I can test it since I know how to do it now. It says made in Mexico on it. And it's a bear. And I would say that that's probably Jade. I would too. I would say that this is Jade. So I'm going to start this at $35. with the bear. And it looks like silver. No interest? Oh, Tammy's at 35. Yep. All right, Tammy. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, it's big. It's a nice size. That's not the official measurement. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> Second. All right, we're gonna go once to Tammy if there's no other interest. The Jade Bear. All right. I'm gonna give it to Tammy. Let's sell it. Going twice now. Please. Going right into your jar with all your other jewels. All right. Oh, 
Okay, T. Fair warning. We are sold to Tammy for $35. Congratulations, Tammy. Congratulations, honey. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to put you on. All right, honey. Oops. All right, guys. Let me show you what I have. So I have this one touch. It's an electrolysis machine. It's vintage. I don't know. One touch. It runs on batteries that I can see. It doesn't have a plug. That's what it is. It has it like a timer. It's called Inverness. One touch home electrolysis. That's what it says. Hair removal system. Sandy says, I think I'm caught up on all my ink. But T, I didn't get an invoice, I don't think, for the Rolling Stones t-shirt. I didn't sell a Rolling Stones t-shirt, so that ain't for me. <laughs> Donna, did you? <laughs> then I have this as well. This is M Joy Beauty Forever. I, I don't have a book on this one. I think it might also be electrolysis. I don't know for sure. We'll start this off at 20 ship, this lot. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on this one. But it's called M Joy Beauty Forever. That's that one. <clears throat> then I'm going to throw in a few um, nail items. Uh, a box of three Mira um, nail nail care. I believe it's some kind of nail care. Yeah, it's um, this is what it is. It's it looks like it's a top coat. There's three of them in there, brand new. Then you have this petty um, foot cream by Borghese. Therapeutic foot cream. Then we have this Essie. This one is a base. Then Sally Hansen's Nails Miracle Growth. And a Borghese um, nail lacquer. Strengthener kind of thing. And if you're going to use something with your nails, everybody's going to need a Magic Nail Dryer. Magic nail dry. Again, I don't have the box on these. So I don't have the direction. I don't have, I, but it, it runs on batteries. It looks like it takes a nine volt battery. These trays come out. The other tray has the, um, the connection for the nine volt battery. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, hon. Thank you. All right. So that's what you got. The magic nail dryer, the SE, the Borghese, the three bottles of Miro, the Sally Hansen, the Borghese Petty, and the two, um, what again, what looks to be um, both electrolysis. That's what you get. And where are we at? Susanna. Oh, Susanna. T's lot number one. And it's, we're going to sell it to Susanna. For 28. Congratulations, Susanna. Thank you, honey. thing freeze oh okay there we go i thought maybe it froze hey susan arrington hi hon all right let's do um let me see if there's any interest in this i have two box sets of glasses um they're vintage they actually like are from like back when my parents like were entertaining but they've never been used there are four whiskey sour glasses 
second. All boxed, all good. And then this one is um, four claret seven ounce glasses. And they've basically been in this box since 1960 something. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so new old stock. <laughs> so there's six seven ounce claret and six four and a half ounce whiskey sour. I don't know. Maybe they're good for somebody starting a bar or newly married couple. You know, have to uh, have some some something for their ballwear. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. We'll start it off at ten. Oh, actually, you know what? I have something else I'm going to add to this. I forgot I had this over here. Since it's ballwear. Since it's ballwear, let's add this too. This is, it says, I do yoga to relieve stress. Just kidding, I drink wine. And it's got four fish top tropical stirrers. Let's throw that in there with it. Oops. I don't think I have anything. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. It's missing a top. All right. I was going to say I might even have a shaker, but I just realized it's missing its top. Yeah, it's cute with the glasses. All right, no other interest. We're going to call it down to Moni. We're going to call it down to Moni. Moni Love. Wine cork box. Oh, yes, it is. You're right, Christina. You're right. Yeah, I guess people put their wine corks in there. But this, these stirrers were here, so I'm going to include the stirrers for sure. But, yes, you're right. You're right. They. That's what they use this for. You can still drink out from the bottom mixer. You can still drink out. Yeah, that's true. That is true, Sergeant. All right, we're sold to Moni Love. Thank you, Moni Love. Love number two. Okay. I, I had taken myself out, so I was I was talking to you, T, and you weren't answering me. <laughs> oh, I wasn't answering you? No, you weren't answering me. I kept asking you questions, and you weren't answering me. And I'm like, T, can you hear me? <laughs> and then I looked down, and I wasn't in the fuzzy room. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that was fuzzy room. I, All right. Let me, uh, all right. Let's we'll see if there's any interest in this stuff. So, oops, wait, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Oh God, are you okay? <laughs> you I don't, wait, I don't know. T, what am I doing wrong? How come I can't? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Never mind. There you go. There you go. Never That's mind. Right. I had a little brain cramp there for a minute. I'm fine. It happens. It happens. All right. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five sets because some of them are more than one piece. Women's clothing. The, some of it vintage. For sure, some of it vintage. Like, I believe this dress is a little vintage. It is... And it's got a shawl, shawl, shawl. Well, no, it's Pretty. not even a shawl. It's, a co it's more like a coat. It's more like a coat. Oh, it's a coat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, I guess it's 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 floor length. It's floor length for the for the for the for the petite. Now, of course, it has to have its tag cut out, so I can't tell you what the brand is. And. Uh, <laughs> If I, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this was my aunt's because she loved to cut tags out of things. That's, Hi, why, that's why, again, I think also it's vintage. Yeah, it's definitely vintage. It's a size 12. 
It's got the Union label in it, made in U.S. Union label. So, yeah, it's definitely vintage. I'm not uh, Denise, but that sounds like a great idea. What's that? She says, is she on a coffee high again? I'm going to go put a pot of coffee on right now. Oh, God, and, you got to take something, Denise. <laughs> she was I, trying I, to I, know, I, I need it. I'm like, I'm over here yawning. And then Dave Jackson said, um, did you pick up a nice iPad, iPad you, are, you will be selling? Dave, I haven't decided yet. I can't go live on it. But I was watching it last night in bed, and it was nice watching the nice big iPad instead of, you know, your phone. You watch your phone at night, T, when you're in bed? A hundred percent. I don't leave, you know, it's like you don't leave home without it. I don't go to bed without it. <laughs> With your phone, right? Yeah. So last night I had I had the phone, and then I had the iPad, and I was watching the iPad, and it was nice watching the bigger screen. So I don't know. I um I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it yet. I'd like to sell it because I really want a laptop. All right, I'm gonna go put coffee on. I'll be back. Okay. Again, another vintage jacket. Still has the tags. Hey, Robin. This one is another jacket. It's called Bridgewater Classics. It's a size 18. got shoulder pads I watch my husband snore and I drool at night oh I drool too <laughs> TMI I know <laughs> then we have this Casper lavender pale lavender really pants suit it's an 8p it's got a nice scarf with it Um, we'll start it at 20. And then the last piece in this lot is a pinwall. A pinwall. It's a pinwall. I'm going to see if I got a size and a brand. It's a medium. It is a. Saks, Saks Fifth Avenue. I would be overdressed for Walmart, <laughs> right, Heidi? All right, so that one again is a medium. It's got, you can see it's got a nice little, um, So again, you got that. You got the Casper pantsuit and a pale lavender with the scarf. The Bridgewater Classics jacket in a size 18. The real Real clothes, size 16, brand new with tags. Which jacket, honey? One's, at, one's a 16, one's an 18. This one's a 16, and the other one is an 18. Yeah, the 16 probably will. It might. It might. Yeah, because this is it's a little little short for me on the arms because I'm I'm tall. I you know I'm five nine, so this I believe was my other aunts or moms. I maybe could have been moms too. Um and they were they were short. I, I'm the tallest in the, in my whole family. Um even my dad's not that tall. He's about five eleven, but I got my grandfather's genes and that side of the family was tall. Thank God my boys did too again all right are we done and done we're going to call it to leslie we're going to call it to leslie Leslie's going to have herself a sniping deal here sniping deal for leslie
No other interest. We're going to call it. Lot number three. You're not calling me, are you? No, I'm calling the auction. <laughs> Okay. All right, and with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Leslie. All right, that's my three, Don. Donna. All right. Donna, are you back or no? All right. Well, while she's not here, just a reminder to everyone about the usuals, right? We have the usuals. Um, if anybody wants the um, perfume atomizer, $20 shipped in a gift in the box. So it can be a gift. They're brand new, packed nice, and I will pack them even nicer. Uh, $20 shipped on the atomizer, Irving Rice. Also for the perfume um, bottle. $20 shipped, brand new. Reminder on the three pack of, hey, Rachel, hi, hon. Three pack of the spa foot spray, $26 shipped, three bottles. Peppermint. And Donnie, you're not back yet? <laughs> she left me high and dry. Where did she go? All right. You guys want to see some books? I can do books. Yeah, that, that 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 was a beautiful lavender suit, right? Sure. Yeah, books. Okay, I'll do books. Let me get these clothes out of the way. Otherwise, I'll be sitting on them, and that won't be fun, especially with the hangers. <laughs> Especially with the hangers. Hi guys. Oh, I'm, back. I'm back. I'm like, where did she go? I was gonna go get something else. Oh. <laughs> No, I went and made coffee and then my daughter called, the school bus broke down, so I needed to give permission for her to ride with one of the other students to the to the game because it's an away oh, game. <laughs> just a busy household. Just crazy busy all the time. Um my my chat looks like let me see. Okay. I was gonna say I think my chat hi. <laughs> I was on the wrong chat. Are you done? I did my three, yes. <laughs> do you want to do any more? I will. What do you have? <laughs> I have some stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know me, I always have stuff. Um, I have actually something very, very beautiful. I am going to put a reserve on it, but I'm going to show you what it is. Um, I'm going to start it at 50. Maybe nobody will even give me a bid. 
Who knows? Right? What's it called? Celestial? Celestial, yes. Celestial. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so. If I know if that's so the word. It's, it's a money clip. It's celestial. And it's 35.4 grams of silver. And don't know if this is the box, but um, let me get a blank card to put it on. Oh, Make let me sound big, honey. <laughs> um, I'll I'll give you a closer look. It's got the stamp. I think it has a maker's mark on it too. I'm not sure, but I'll give you a closer look of that. But there it is. What a nice gift for a man for the holidays. I'll give you a close up of it. And that's what it is, right? It's a less celestial. Sterling 925. And I'm not sure what it says underneath that. Um, okay, Ricky, I'm live. Thank you. All right. So there it is. If there's any interest, and like I said, it is. 35.3 grams of silver. It's pretty chunky. Tammy comes in at 50. It's beautiful. Is there any other interest? All right. I'm going to lift the reserve and I'm going to give it to Tammy for 50. If there's no other interest, Tammy's going to get it. All right. We're going to go once then. Yep. Going once. Got my lava lamp. Yeah, it doesn't want to push it over the top. It does. It does. Oh, it does finally. Yeah, it was just about to, and then it went back down. Uh, yeah, but has it ever? Yeah, it went all the way to the top. Oh, okay. It has. So it's getting ready to go. All right, sold, 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 sold to Tammy for $50. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tammy. It's a beautiful piece. If either one of my, if my husband or my son wore used money clips, they would get that for Christmas. That was a beautiful piece for the money clip. Okay. I have two more. I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do them as one-offs, Okay. Uh, Mickey Mouse watches. This is the first one. It comes in this tin, a timeless classic. And it's a special edition tin collector series. And I'll show you. I still have a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff, you guys, that I have to sell. And there's the watch. Mickey Mouse watch. I'm going to start it at $15. All right. $15 ship to start on this. Genuine leather. Sergeant Spork wants it for 15. Anybody else?
Mickey 10 watch. 17 to Jen Bennett. Jen Bennett. Jen, I have I have the jewelry I'm sending you and dun, dun, dun. so excited. In case you forgot what it looked like. Remember T, this is the ring that I lost? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is, honey. I'll get it out to you tomorrow, Jen. I'm sorry I didn't ship today. Sergeant Sparks in for 19. Jen Bennett now at 21. But I have it right here, honey. Ready to roll. I know just where it is. It's right behind my lamp. So in case I lose it again, you guys, it's right behind the lamp. <laughs> I won't lose it again. <laughs> I know Shelly's like, don't lose it again. I just said that. Now you guys all know where I put it. <laughs> it's behind the lamp. <laughs> all right. We have Jen in at 21. Anyone else? Sergeant Spork is out. Look, I got my Chris Christmas mug out. <laughs> oh, God help us. I'll decorate the back as, um, for Christmas for the next show. I have my beautiful tree. I have that white one. I got a scent to Tammy that she bought. And then I have my other beautiful ones. Lava is moving. Is it? Did it go up? Tammy, did it go up? It looks like it went up. I don't know why I get so excited when I see it go to the top. All right, we're sold to Jen Bennett for $21 for the Mickey watch. Thank you, Jen Bennett. All right, I'm going to do another one-off. This one, let's see, let's put this Mickey watch away. I don't know, you were blocking it. Oh, okay, there it goes, you guys, there it goes. There it goes. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Oh, see? Wow. You I see, see it? it? You I see it? I see it. I see it. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. A piece fell off. Oh, it's falling back down. That, no. was, that was a big chunk. That was a big chunk to go all the way up. Sell your mug, Donna. No. Have a cup of cheer. I love this mug but I do have some mugs. I do too. I don't have them today, but I do. I have Disney mugs. That they're sitting right here next to me. Okay. Um, this is the next watch that I'm going to do. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to get put inside the tin. This little piece goes with the watch. Okay. Here's my next one. It comes in this... Disney Time Works. It comes in this velvet pouch and it has a certificate in it. And I'm going to start this one off at uh, 20. Genuine leather. It has the Disney Parks hologram and waiting to see how awesome it is. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, that's some that's probably a man's. Hi Rhonda. Hi, honey. Hey Thanks Rhonda. Sergeant Sport comes in at 20. This one's awesome with the moving Mickey hands. It's really great. And this is how big it is. It's big. Twenty-five to Sandy Kirk. Okay. The face is really pretty on it too. Let me get my lens and show you. Oh, um. So here, while you guys are doing this, I'm gonna go grab you. Some of you are using my link, and I want to thank you for that. You guys have used my link to buy trash bags. You've used my link to buy loops. Um, 
Sergeant Spoke would like to see the back again. All right, honey, one second. I'll be right there. Here's my affiliate link, you guys. I've already made three dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> Oh, I was, buy a cup of coffee for the girls. I was so excited. I went and I checked it. Let me see. Let's see if it's changed. If anybody else bought anything. But you guys, I don't know if you know with the with the with the link. No, it's still three dollars and forty one cents. No one's bought anything else. Um, you know, with the link, you you can use that link and go anywhere on Amazon and buy whatever you need. And as long as you stay in Amazon with my link. I get a percentage. So um, I have seven people bought something. Seven people bought something and I made $3.41. <laughs> so ridiculous, right? Every little bit helps. I know. Every little bit helps, right? It's it's so good. Okay. All right. Oh, he wants to see the back. Oh, I was going to get the lens. Sorry. There's the back. And there's the front. I sold a huge lot of these last the other night. Oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. All of them were beautiful. All right, Sergeant Paul yeah. comes in at 27 now. It's the castle. It is. It's the beautiful castle. Don't tell Pat D's, but he said that he might be coming down to Disney. And if he does, I might, I might, might maybe go and visit him in the park. Do not promise him anything. <laughs> Do not promise him anything. Please. I hate Disney. 29 now from Sandy. I do, you guys. I hate Disney. And I'm so glad my kids were never big Disney kids either. Imagine. My Great husband and I, needs moving boxes. We never had to go. I need moving boxes. Rachel, are you moving? Rachel, the best place to go get moving boxes, honey, is the liquor store because they're really thick. They're really thick cardboard, so they're nice and strong, and then they're um, they're small, so they're manageable. I mean, it, wouldn't you rather move, like, four small boxes that you're not going to kill yourself on than one big box? I know I would. I would rather stack, like, four boxes on a dolly, you know, and, and move them that way than have to – don't get big boxes because then you kill yourself um, trying to – you know, once you fill them. So yeah, the liquor store is the best place. Publix liquor store. They have, the, they have great boxes. Um, so Sandy's going to get it for 29. We're going to sell it. Yep. We're sold to Sandy at 29. All right. Awesome. Sandy. So I will send that. I will invoice you for that in your Rolling Stones t-shirt. She just wants to know if there's a second hand on it. Yes, there is. It's a little late to be asking, Sandy. <laughs> yes, there's the second hand on it. See, let me see. Well, maybe she wants to give it to someone who's, see the second hand right there? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. Okay, yeah, right there. Um, maybe she wants to give it to someone who's a nurse. You know, they still use their the second hands for taking blood pressure and stuff. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, Um. how much was it? I'm sorry, $29. Okay. Awesome. 86 of you here. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to give us a thumb up, thumbs up. Appreciate it. Um, okay. So for my next lot, what should I show? What do you guys want to see? I have a whole bunch of movies. How about if we do a stack of movies? We'll start them at $25 and um, we'll see how many I can. I don't, I think it's like like two boxes full i think it's like 20 i think it's like 23 movies fit in those boxes so let's see um religious i can't i can't read that word sorry um star trek children of men I think some of these are scary ones. Iron Man. 
25 to start, you guys. Cleaner, Samuel Jackson, Ed Harrison, The Road. No, knowing is that knowing? Knowing, yes. Pandrum. That looks like the hand that. Uh, oh, sorry, Mama G. Feel better, honey. Mama G, what's wrong? She's not feeling well. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Feel better. Hugs, hugs out to Mama G, everyone. Oh, this was a great movie. The Sixth Sense, yeah. Wasn't that a great movie? It was. I haven't seen a lot of movies, but that was a great movie because I don't watch much in movies. The Legend, I I didn't see that one, but I was told it was a good movie. Um, oh, John Travolta's Urban Cowboy. These are nice movies. Hey, Jade Moon, why did Jade lose her wrench? And did you ever wrench? Um, the Gingerbread Man? No. What's her name before? No. Okay. Jade Moon needs a wrench. Yeah, I don't know why she's not wrenched. She's registered? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I don't know who the other person was. I can't remember way back then. I can't remember either, but she um if you're if you're in the chat and you need a wrench, let us know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sometimes YouTube plays games with us. Joanne, that's right. Joanne, um, Mama G, you got such a good memory. No, she's so good. Joanne, yeah. if you're still in the chat, just make a comment so we can go ahead and wrench you. Even if you're not buying today, this way we we, we have you done for next time. Hey, Jack Smith. Welcome, honey. I don't know if you've been here, but I just saw you. Harrison Ford, frantic. Analyze this. Do we have a bid? Yes, 25 from Denise. Jack? Nick's there she is, Joanne Young. There she Jessica is. Jessica Lang, The Postman Always Rings Twice. Twice. Good movies, right? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Um, oh, gosh. We should give that to uh, Insomnia. <laughs> Robin. Robin. <laughs> Insomnia. And... Those are DVDs. Zodiac. Oh, gosh. Quarantine. That's been all of us. This is, this looks like, it's a, it's a freebie, but it looks like it's a, um, maybe, I don't know, it's sealed, but it's just in a plastic thing. The day the earth stood still. Um. Can you read that? No, I want you to read it. Huh? Apocalypto. Apocalypto. I can't say it. Apocalypto. Paranormal activity. Let's try it again. Apocalypto. Apocalypto. Good. Good job. Apocalypto. Apocalypto. <laughs> Apocalypto. Apocalypto. Like apoc. Apocalypto. Now you got me saying it wrong. Apocalypto. Apocalypto. All right. There you go. Woohoo. Apocalypto. Apocalypto. All right. How about fragrance? How about we just forget about that? <laughs> All right. All right. It's just oh, certain. That's a hard, word. That's a hard yes. word. Listen, it's just certain words. Well, like that's, that's a hard word. That's a hard word. Like fragrance. <laughs> Oh God. I can never say the word fragrance. I just can't. It's just certain words. God, the coffee's kicking in. <laughs> there's, no, there's no there's no uh anything else in the coffee. <laughs> there's nothing in the coffee. There's nothing in it. You think we'll be all together? It's delicious. What's that? How many movies all together? I don't know. I'm just going to keep showing them. Okay. The Return of the Pink Panther. Patties. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Patties. What is that? I don't know. That's a weird symbol. <coughs> uh, 
I, I don't know how to... Uh-oh, look out, Sandy says. I don't know if this is um, X-rated. Mm -hmm. Susan Sarandon? Yeah, she was a little raunchy, but who knows? White Man's Burden, John Travolta and Harry Belafonte? These are all movies I probably should have watched. Throw Mama from the Train? Oh, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. I've never seen that. These yeah, are all the movies. This one's um this one's like special edition stuff going on here. What is going on here? Let's see. I want to open it up. It's it's um Sea Biscuit. And it's oh, yeah, it's got a DVD in it, yeah. With the story. Yep. And then it comes in this. Mm-hmm. With this. So this is a nice, it's probably like a commemorative one or something. Yeah, if you know anybody who likes horse racing, this is a great gift. Yeah, this is a nice one. Very pretty. In this nice, nice case, it's like uh, like a leather bound looking. I'm sure it's not leather, but it looks like it's leather. All right, and then we have Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was a friend of mine. Do no, do do. <laughs> no, wrong song. Oh my god! <laughs> this has got three in it, and look at how smart T. They put a piece of foam in there so that you know they don't flap around so much you know when in shipping right. have you ever Pat, seen that pat d's no she isn't what did he say donna's selling the movies i gave her for valentine's day <laughs> are we calling it Does no we didn't it? even show the rest of them yet yet janine <laughs> i could stop monsters mobsters oh mobsters sorry hush I think that was a little scary. I don't remember now. The Seventh Sign. That was a little scary. Demi Moore. All right, that can be that can be one lot. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. There's thirty. Okay, Janine. There's 30 movies and they're all great movies. You guys decide. I think there's one bid for $25. Yes, ma'am. From Denise. Anybody else? T. Donna. You know, someone told me that that eBay tape that you used for my package, because I've been using mine too, right. is, is um, it's sought after now. It's considered like vintage because they don't make it anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. You should check out the price on eBay and see, because I guess people are buying it. Because now they only do the black or the like solid color. They don't do that. I ordered the color this quarter. You bought the color? Yeah, this quarter. Oh, all right. Never mind then. All right, did we I sell it? Just all of a sudden, stop making it. No, this was a while ago. Perfect movies for right now. Frantic and insomnia, right? <laughs> and pandemic. Wasn't there one called the pandemic? All right, we sold to Denise for 25 all right, let's sell it. Movies. And we're done. T, can you call for a minute? Yeah, sure, Janine, no problem. All right, so we're sold, sold, sold. All right, I'm going to show you um, these mugs. 
Actually, I'm going to show you this first. Does anybody have a Lords of the Ring? Lords of the Ring. It's um, it's this. It's a PC game. Lords of the Ring PC game. And then it's this. And I'm going to do both of them to start $25. That would make a nice gift for anybody who loves Lord of the Ring. All right, Mama G, thank you. All right, $25 ship to start on this, guys. No one's interested, we'll pass it. All right, let's pass. Let's pass it. It's passed. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five mugs. What should I start them at, T? Because they're going to be expensive to ship. I have to bubble wrap each one of them. Yeah, how big are they? The normal size, regular size? Big ones. What? And they have um, this guy on it. Oh, you got to you got to start these at like twenty five. I have to start them for more than twenty five. It's going to be expensive to ship out in two boxes. I think. Let's start them at thirty five. Okay. And that's that dog. Pluto. They're all Disney. This one says Wolf on the back. I'm going to do them in two lots. I'm going to do them in two lots. <clears throat> no, Sandy Kirk, it's Pluto. That's goofy. Okay, so let's we can do let's start these uh these off at twenty dollars. Whoops, careful buddy. There's mugs here. Don't want you to tip them over. The battle of the dogs, right? <laughs> Jade, Jade me too. Twenty dollars. Pluto has just the nice dog look, and Goofy has the goofy teeth with the look that he's goofy. I have no idea what these sell for, like on eBay, or I would thought maybe people might want to buy them for gifts. Let Let me do the all the whole set and see if anybody's interested in buying the whole set. Um, I'll show you what I have, but I'm going to start it at 35 for the whole set. All right. Mama G, we're going to change that. How many five all together? Five for 35. Five, five for 35. Five for 35. Are they all dogs? <laughs> Who's that happy? That looks like happy. Mickey. Oh, is it dopey? I, I thought it could be. Janine's going to come in for 35. It looked like dopey, but he didn't have a dopey look on his face and he had a smile. So you get one. Two, 
three, four, and five. And they're nice big ones. See how big they are? Nice big cups. Nice big cup of coffee. Thank you, Tammy. I know. I was debating on keeping these. Yeah, they are cute. Anyone want to come 37? I was. And they're the nice. These are the nice uh, ceramic that you can put in the dishwasher. You know how some yeah. ceramics you can't. They they get all crazed. Mm -hmm. This is like the nice ceramic. It's Tinkerbell. It's Tink. That you can put in. Invisible Bitter's going to go 37. Thank you. He cheated on me with some girl named Snow. Oh, God. 39 from Janine. Tammy says, I love Tinkerbell. Janine's at 39. Invisible Bitter is going to come in at 41. Thank you. Yeah, they're really nice. Wes is going to give Pat D's a cheeseburger. Summers wants to know what they say on the bottom. They say, let me get a light colored one. They say Disney made in Thailand, authentic, original Disney parks. That's what it says. All right, Janine is out. We have Invisible Bitter at 41. Sandy, let us know. Sandy's in at 43. Thank you, Sandy. I love this one. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> They're really nice. They're nice quality. 45 now from Invisible Bitter. I'm still wearing the wedding band that I found in my last storage unit. Oh, wow. 50 now from summer. <laughs> taking it off. It's like I'm married to the storage unit. The, the storage unit's married me. Invisible bitters out. Summers is at 50. Sandy's out. Sandy's out. It's out. We're going to call it. All right, friends. We're going to go once to Summers. Donna Summers. That makes me feel better because if I have to ship them in two big boxes, that will absorb a lot of the cost of the shipping. All right. Mugs. Disney. Married to a 10 by 30, right? Oh, man, oh, man. Actually, it was 10 by 35. <laughs> and um, we're going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're sold. Congratulations, Summers. I'm sold, sold, sold. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, baby, you're up. All right. All right, I told you guys I was going to bring some books because I'm, I think I'm really, I was trying to grab as many as I have. I think I might be out of books, <laughs> which is good for tea, <laughs> which is good for tea. But it is a big, it is a pretty big stack. And ooh, yeah, we're going to do this at 20 ship to start. All right, we're going to start it off with a Dorland's Pocket Dictionary 20th edition. We've got... Richard Wright's is Black Boy. We got a school, George, the story of George Washington Carver. We have Frank Slaughter Trio, the complete novels. We have Eugene Price Savannah. Savannah, Savannah, something like that. We have Frank Yearby, The Golden Hawk.
Richard Wright, Native Son. Richard Wright, Native Son. That's another edition with two of those. April Sinclair, author of Coffee Will Make You Black, ain't going to be the same fool twice. And we have Sally Hemings, Barbara Chase Rabo. We have a woman called Fancy. Where's Fancy Nancy? We have 101 famous poems. The Assertive Woman, The Color of Water, Teenagers and the Internet, What Every Parent Should Know, List Yourself for Pregnancy. I think this is just like a, um, yeah, it's just if you write in it yourself. It's not written in. It's brand new. It's brand new. Touch. What every parent should know about school. Frederick Douglass. And up. And then the last one is a tremendous coffee table book. It's called Baseball Extra. Dust Jacket's got a little cut in the corner up at the top. I didn't give you any information on any of these as far as this is a 2000 first. This one is like really illustrated, looks like with newspaper clippings. Any interest in this, guys? If not, we'll pass on it. It's okay. You just don't want to see me get rid of all my books. <laughs> Yeah, no interest, guys. We'll pass on it. Just let me know. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. It's a nice resell. A nice somebody too who wants to get started in Amazon or even eBay with books. It's a nice little starter. No interest, no interest, no interest, no interest. How much for just the base plats? The heaviest book of all of them. That's the heaviest one of all of them. Yeah, I see. I see. I don't know. What do you want to what do you want to give me for it, Susanna? If there's no interest in in the lot. Oops, forgot a book. Oops, we forgot a book. Okay. I'll sell tea for that. All right, we'll sell the baseball book to Susanna for 10. Thank you, Susanna. Anybody else want to buy a book? <laughs> you wanna you wanna pick a few and make me an offer? This way they go. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? All right, let me know, guys, because I'd love to just purge the rest of the books. I'd love to just purge the rest of the books. All right. Baseball is sold to Susanna. Thank you, Susanna. All right. Let's see if there's any interest in this. Um, this is going to come boxed, playing box. It is Alexandra DeMarcoff. It's toning lotion. It is 16 ounces. It's a big bottle. And I'm going to do two of them for 20. They'll both come boxed. So that's 32 ounces of toning. It's a gentle, non-drying, refreshing toner that removes 
final trace traces of cleanser and oils from all skin types apply on a cotton pad gently wipe over face and throat repeat until cotton pad is clean so you get two of them we'll do two for 20. looks like iced tea yeah that's just the way it is it's a toning lotion look them up they're not cheap Alexandra DeMarkoff Imperial Formula. And you'll get two boxed. If you don't want both for yourself, you can give one. Or you can give both as gifts. Okay, Sandra. Good luck with that. I'm gonna take a nap now. Oh, it must be. Yeah, you must be on a different time zone. I'd be in bed for the night if I took a nap now. <laughs> it's um, it's called Alexandra Demarkov, and it's Imperial Formula. All right, second hand muse is gonna start us at twenty. I'll try to type it in the chat for you, Leslie, if it helps you out. Sandra Joanne says, Sandra King, no nap, more coffee, <laughs> right? Is there any girl toys or precious moments tonight? Um, I have some precious moments, but I didn't put any lots together, Justin. Um, I certainly can. Uh, Barbly, is that you in a different, <laughs> is that you in a different account? Oh, you're kidding, Sandra. <laughs> Sorry, I guess it's my Long Island accent. All right, we're going to call it to secondhand muse. Oh, Sandra, no, it's Alexandra DeMarkoff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, thank you, Sharice. <laughs> All right, we're going to sell it to secondhand news. Thank you. All right, awesome. All right, let's see if there's any interest in this. I don't know if there is. It's one of these, like, it, it needs to be cleaned. It's like, um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's vintage or not, to be honest with you. This product made with safe paint, we care. And it is made in China, so I don't know. So that's that. It's one of these, like, you put it on the dresser. The mirror needs to be cleaned. It looks like the outside needs a good, a good cleaning. Um, I don't know what the metal is. I guess the metal is guess it's pewter if I was to guess I think I think um, 
but if you can see it definitely has some age or some wear um yes yes summer same person yes honey toner carla toner that was toner honey So I didn't clean the mirror. I didn't clean this. Um, this is probably over 18 inches and will have to be packed pretty well. So I am, if anybody is interested in it, let me see, where's my measuring tape? I did have a measuring tape here. I did, I did, I did. This is why I have to get some of this stuff out of here. <laughs> Was my measuring tape now? Shoot. Mm, I did. I did, I did, I did. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely over 18 inches. It's probably closer to 20, 22, I would say. Okay, thank you. I couldn't find who made it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... 25 to start on that. That's pretty. Yeah. How about a little special box to start it off with, like that you can put some, some stuff on. It is. It just needs to be cleaned. It definitely needs to be cleaned. And I think it's definitely over 18 inches, and I can't find my measuring tape. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's a perfume tray, right? Call it is not. <laughs> Carla. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where I put my measuring tape. I had cleaned the desk a week ago. It's filthy again. It's all everything's all over the place again. All right, if there's no interest, we'll pass on it, guys. That's me. Again. The minute I get it cleaned off, it's like again, again, oh, again. again. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where it is. Was here. I was here. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we'll pass on it. We'll pass on it. Also, guys, just a reminder if anybody's interested, I still have the um, Irving Rice mirrors, ten dollars for ten times. Suction cup backs. Irving Rice. In that nice, pretty pink case. I know some of you probably got yours already. Ten times. Suction cup back. No, Sandy, I'm not. <laughs> no, I sell them, hon. I sell them, Cherise. All right, so these, these mirrors are $10 a piece. They come in this little case. They'll make nice gifts or if you need one. For sure. So the perfume, Cherie, some of them right now um, I have available <clears throat> that I am selling is uh, $15 shipped on the list sport. This is um, Paris Hilton. It's just me. It's men's. It's 22. And then um, selling uh, perfume atomizer with three eighth of an ounce of the uh essence by alexandra again it's alexandra de markov <laughs> so you get three little bottles of those with the little atomizer and that's also uh do you have paloma picasso i gotta look i'm still going through i bought a tremendous i bought a tremendous uh cosmetic i did a tr tremendous cosmetic buy and i'm still going through a lot of this stuff so I will uh, take a look at that for you and let you know for sure because I have some new stuff 
on here as well. Perfume bottles tea. Oh, bottles. Oh, you mean like the empty bottles? Yes, this comes box. It's an Irving Rice. It is um would look beautiful on this tray. <laughs> and it um they come brand new in a box and twenty dollars shipped on these for buy it now, or twenty dollars for the Irving Rice. This is an atomizer bottle. Whoops. Also comes brand new in the box. It's also by Irving Rice. And that's how that comes. That's also $20. Uh, everything is including shipping. Yeah, Carla, I can't find it. I know I have them somewhere. My dining room right now, I'm still trying to sort through a bunch of stuff. So if anybody's, can I buy a new body? Mine's broken. Jonathan, I'm out of those this week. Check back, though. I think, I think I might have some in the garage. I got to look. Some new bodies? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that's what I have, guys. We'll go back to Donna. All right. Here I am. Um, I was just looking at this to see if I could find markings on it. Um, I can test it if you want me to, but it does not, it does not stick to... Um, it does not stick to a magnet. And this is what it is. I have no idea what it is. Um, it's something of the Jewish faith. Pretty sure. Yes, it is. Yeah, um, but I don't know what it is or what it says. Chatworth, or Sandy might know, or Christopher Chatworth, if you guys know, I do, it's what they keep it. It's, a, it's like the same thing. They keep it at the front door, I think. And I can't think of what it's called now. And it's not magnetic. And I looked real quick to see if I could find anything on it. And I couldn't. Um, I'm going to start it at 30. Oh, sorry, Carla. And if it is 10, 14, I don't know. It's up to you. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Um, like I said, I could test it if you want me to. But I have to show you something. I posted... Um, mm -hmm. I posted a St. Francis of Assisi uh, statue that I got in my um, um, storage, one of my storage units. And <clears throat> um, my son left a pair of rubber boots out by the front door. And so I said to the woman, just take the statue and leave the money in the boots. It was $30. And I just reached, I just went out there because she came in to the gate and, um, and this is this is how she left the money in the boots. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. She even paid me with some two dollar bills. I haven't counted it. I'm I'm hoping it's thirty dollars, but this is how she left the money. I'm not kidding. I did not do this. This is how she left the money in the boots. Oh in my god. What's wrong with people? Isn't that so crazy? To my, just husband, my husband has a freaking OCD attack even when he gets money out of the cash machine and the bills are in the wrong direction. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny to me. I'm like, <laughs> I have to show you guys. You wouldn't believe me if I didn't show you. This is how she left me the money, shoved inside the big rubber boot. People are crazy. Okay, back to this. What are we starting this out at? Um, 30 Okay, thirty dollars ship to start. Do we know the length on it? Um, looks eighteen to me, but we won't make assumptions. Yeah, it's probably. Let me see. I think I left my tape measure out here. I'm still singing that Cisco kid. Was a friend of mine. Oh my God, that's not even the right song. I know. It's um, it measures down to just like eleven and three quarters. Oh, okay. So it actually is like a twenty-four. Yes, a mezuzah. Thank you, Carl. I couldn't think. It's like, and they used to keep them at the front. There's a, they, they keep them at the front door too for good luck. We've got, we're talking about mezuzahs and the Blessed Mother statue. <laughs> kind of, kind of a, a little bit of all religions. <laughs> now we Is just. Any interest in it? If not, we'll pass on it. 
we cannot find any markings on this, but it no. does. It has no magnetic ability. No, it magnet won't stick to it. There's a magnet on the back of my phone because that's where I hook it up in my car. It's a super duper heavy duty magnet, and it does not stick to it. That's right, Sandy. Pass you guys. Okay, it looks like they want to pass. We'll bring it back another time. All right, we'll pass on that. I'll see if I can um, find time to test it. And that way I can um, <clears throat> let you know for sure if it's 10 or um, um, 12 or 14 or whatever it is. Okay, I, I actually went and got grabbed a small lot of books, too. And this is what I have. And I'm going to start this off just at $10. Let's see if anybody's interested. They appear to be all brand new, like never even opened, you can see. Um, this one is How to Create a Budget, Household Budget Tips and Tricks. What number, what lot number are we on? Um, I'll let you know in one second. I've got my books covering my sheet. Okay. Um, how to make a budget. Here, Janine probably wants to know so she can write it in the chat. Yeah. This is nine, Janine. Thank nine. you, honey. How to make a budget, a guide to creating budget for better money management. How to, how to make a budget work for you. And like I said, these look at, look at, they don't look like they've ever been opened. They're like brand oh, new. Yeah. 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 They're brand new and they do have barcodes. So for those of you that are resellers, this is a nice lot to buy. Hey, you, could, you could probably list these as new. Um, but this one has a suggested retail of $13.99 when they bought it. <clears throat> hey, Kelly. What did you speak? Monthly. Um, I got to go back to my, so I can say hi. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Goose. Hey, hey. Monthly budget planner. Money budget for personal budget. Household budget book. Again, brand new. If you're ungated in this stuff, even for Amazon. Household budget record. And then the last one is the Monopoly Tax Organizer. And it has um, pockets where you can, I guess, keep receipts. Okay, Mary Ness. Mary, you're you're lagging, I think, honey, unless you just decided. Mm -hmm. But I'll put you down for one. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All new. All new. Lot number nine. Books. Tammy's at 15. Seventeen from Leticia. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. Yeah, the I monopoly one, like that. Yeah, with the um, with the pockets. Prescription medicines. Basically, keep track of everything: medical cost, income taxes withheld. Twenty to Tammy. Automobile expenses. Leticia's gonna Leticia is gonna be out. Education, charitable contributions, child and dependent care expenses. All right, we're gonna go once to Tammy at 20. Miscellaneous. Okay. Tammy gets the books. Going twice now. Oh, thank you, Donna Summers. Mm -hmm. I got your text, honey.
Okay, Sandy. Hey, Westside Gary. And with a fair warning. Gary. Hey, buddy. Haven't seen you forever. We are sold to Tammy for $20. Congratulations, Tammy. Okay. Next I have as my one-off a cyber shot. This appears to be brand new. It comes in this nice little case and it has the charger. It's a Sony and it has some paperwork in here. Let's see if it's a receipt or an actual, no, it's um, the actual paperwork that goes with it is in there. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. And then here's the camera. It looks like it's never been used. $25 to start. All right, $25 for the cyber shot. Yeah, it looks, brand, looks brand, brand, brand new. It's going to start us off at 25. And it does have an SD card in there to get you started. And the battery is in there as well. Sergeant Spork, $25. Comes in the nice little protector pouch with the camera bag and the little strap. Great point and shoot for traveling. Okay. We're good, Gary. How what? are you? Thanks. Thanks, Gary. How are you, hon? What's that? Let's sell it, sell it, sell it. All right. We're going to go once. Up, oh, DU, it's going to come in for 27. Thank you, DU. Tammy wants to know if there's a model number on it. Oh, sure, Tammy. Let me check. Oh, I just found another pocket, but there's nothing in it. There's a pocket in the front. Hey, so, Renee. Hi, Renee. Okay, so the model number on the cyber shot is. It's a DSC T10 super ready super shot. Super, super steady, steady. Steady. Yeah. steady, not ready. DSC 710. T10. 30 from Tammy. Sergeant Spork is out. Let us know, DU it. all right i think my body is in shock just had my first slice of bread low calorie oh wow jade that's crazy 32 now for me that's insane t did that t did that she cut out carbs for how long t Oh gosh, while wow. months, right? Yeah. Months and months. I'd be out of my trees. I would be out of my mind without carbs. Oh my gosh, I couldn't live. I can't do those kind of diets. I just keep reminding my husband that I'm not fat. I'm just voluptuous. It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Got to do what works. <laughs> oh my gosh, 30 pounds, Jade. I still couldn't do it. I'd love to lose 30 pounds. I'd be so happy if I lost 30 pounds. Donna, it's mind over matter. No, Denise. Uh-uh, not with this girl. Mm-mm. Nope. I lost, I, lost, 
30. I'm trying to remember. I did 27 in one month and I think 38 in two. And within four months I was down 76. Oh my gosh. And she got off daily insulin shots. You go girl. That's awesome. She says, I'm so crazy happy. I'm Jackson. <laughs> my friend lost 275 pounds. He divorced his wife. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> I had to do it around two years ago for diabetes. You know, the last time I went to the doctor, the doctor said that I was pre-diabetic. And she's like, what did you, remember T, I told you, she's like, what, what are you doing different that you did? Like the last time we checked your blood and I said, I have a new addiction. Grapes. Grapes. And I eat them like every night. Like someone reads their Bible before they go to bed. I eat my grapes every night. Like I've made my husband go to the supermarket at night to buy, hi James, to buy me grapes. Because I don't have grapes in the house. How you doing? Kelly, Kelly was pre-diabetic. She's a skinny mini. How could that be possible? Then she's so young. So I laid off the grapes and I went and I had my blood checked and it was normal. And then I went back to eating grapes. I go on these binges. Who won the um camera? Wow, Sharice, that's awesome. I cut carbs starting uh, treading uh, water in a treading water in a pool and lost a hundred and ten pounds. Holy cow! That's a whole body. That's fantastic. Wow, that's awesome. Well, you know what's going to happen now? The winter's here, so whatever you didn't lose over the summer, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It's gonna. That's always used to happen to me. I'd pack it on in the winter time and then lose it in the summer. Boston's going to bark. The truck is back. <coughs> See, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I can hear the diesel truck coming from way down the street. They're still trying. They're working on the, um, they're still working on the garage. I can't wait to be able to move in there and have that whole space done. They've been working on it all day back and forth. He, he just gets really, he knows it's Massimo driving the truck, but he just gets really excited when he hears the truck. All right. Hi, Amy. Hi again, honey. All right. Did we sell this? Did someone buy it? Who bought it? Yes, we, it sold to DU it for 32. To DU it? DU it, do I have t-shirts that are coming to you or did I already mail you all your stuff? Do you remember? Because I don't. I mean, I have it written down, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Did you get all your stuff already? DU it? Okay. So I'm going to do this as a one-off. Hey, showed this George one. Scavenger. Hi, hon. One ACDC shirt. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Plus the ACDC shirt. All right. Awesome. I'll make sure that they go together tomorrow. All right, you guys. Look at how pretty for Christmas pictures. Um. I couldn't find a size on it yesterday. Oh, Wes is going to love this. He's going to want this. Wes? Yeah. A little girl's dress? Yeah. For who? For himself. Oh, a for little birdie God. told me. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Donna, the shirts are fantastic. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, honey. I wish I had got more of those shirts. Those shirts were so awesome and so easy to sell. It's beautifully lined all the way through. It's, um, oh, it's a size 6X, you guys. 6X. Perfect. Wes, that should pick, fit you perfectly. Oh, my gosh. Why are you giving Wes such a hard time? <laughs> because he's giving us a hard time. Are we still auctioning? Focus. <laughs> what happened to the auction? <laughs> it's layers and layers. It'd be so pretty to pictures with Santa with us or a holiday party or even for a communion or... Hey, Mr. Goodman. Um, I don't think you have any more concert t-shirts, do you? 
Um, I think I have just a couple left. I want to fill all my orders and make sure I'm still a little bit nervous about um, someone said to me when I sold a shirt the other night, they said, that's not my so-and-so shirt. And I, I'm looking and I, I'm just, I, I bagged almost every shirt that I, so until I sell what I have left, I want to make sure that I fill all my orders. Um, because I have three of them hanging here, but I want to make sure that all my, like I have a Sergeant Pepper one and that I can see, I have a Mario one I can see, but I want to make sure that my orders are filled. So my next auction, hopefully if all my shirts are filled, um, oh, somebody was asking about Nirvana or Guns N' Roses. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Six X. I'm going to start this at 20. Look at how beautiful it is. It's all rosebuds. Uh, the dry cleaning tag alone was $35. It's Pippa and Julie. P-I-P-P-A and Julie. G-U-J-U-L-I-E. Size 6X. $20 to start. It's brand new without tags. There's not a stain on it. It's gorgeous. No interest? We'll pass on it. It does come with a slip, Gary. It's built in. A, a diamond, rather. Who's asking? Wes? Yes. Huh? Yes. The slip is built in, Wes. It's perfect for you. <laughs> There's the slip. You know that tool, Wes. Lots of tool. Oh, don't, don't you have two dresses, Tammy? I have, I have five. I have like five of them. Should I lot them up, Tammy? And sell them all in one lot? I just thought maybe, you know, I'd do the individual size in case somebody has a granddaughter or a daughter that they want to buy one for. Because they're all, I think, different sizes. Okay, let's pass on it. Tammy wants to give you 20 for it. Tammy, you want it for 20, honey? Janine wants it for 20. Janine, you got to go 22, honey. Any dresses in black or camo? See, Sergeant Spock's interested in a dress, too. Um, I don't have a dress in camo, but I have this, which I'll show in a minute. Woohoo! Ha ha! Asking you shall receive. That's okay, Janine. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's give it to Tammy. All right, so we're going to give it to Tammy for 20. And I'm going to just call that the pink and white to Tammy for 20. Okay. All right. Let me do this and then I'll show you what else I have left in dresses. This is a one piece men's cold weather. It's called leading the way walls outdoor um chest 46 48 size extra large regular and it's called walls walls and i'm going to start this off at 20 and it's got nice big pockets this pocket in the back is zippered it's got zippers on the bottom for um all right, what do you want to start this out at? 20. 20. 20 shipped. Yes, Sergeant Spork, it's a big onesie. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big onesie. 
Perfect for the cold weather to go out and shovel. I've sold a couple of these. Oh yeah, I, I I sold these really well on eBay when I was um, selling on eBay. These sell these sell well. Oh, I just saw a little tear. There's a little tear on it right there. See it? That I missed. And here, oh god. Make sure that's not a built-in distress mark purposely. No, there's tears. Two okay. two tear. There's two tears on it. I mean, it's not going to affect. No. The no. performance of it but there's two tears. So probably wouldn't be good to sell. I mean, I have sold things with- Oh, I have, them. oh, I have. Um, I don't know if anybody wants it for personal use or for their husband, their son. If not, we'll pass. Let me know. Yeah, that's true, Mama G, and it is hunting season. I think Bo starts here real soon, if it didn't already. Passing on it. We're passing on it. All right. I'll either list it or I'll bring it back another night. Okay. I'm going to lot up the rest of the dresses that I have. I'll show you what I have. Actually, I have three dresses and a shirt. So... This one here has a pink sash. It's Laura Ashley, size six. Laura Ashley, size six. And I don't know why they have this with it, but this is just how they came out of the closet. This one is called Strasburg, size six. These people must have gone to fancy parties, right? Yeah with these dresses with the beautiful pink sash not a stain on it it's gorgeous and then this one is Abercrombie size small and then the last piece this one's marked $45 it's a linen top it's um it's Raymond P-U-I-G, Miami, Florida. It's a boutique. It's a boutique shirt. It's a boutique shirt. And it's 6T. And it's linen. It looks like it's little boys for sure. But it's marked, like I said, $45 for that. So I'll do these three dresses and, and this top. With a starting bid of, um, I'll do a starting bid of $35. $35. You get the Laura Ashley. What did the other one sell for? $20? Yeah. Laura Ashley, this beautiful white and pink one. And then this one here with the bling bling on it. And then this this one here, 6T. Four pieces. Anybody? 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 Gary? Anybody? 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 <laughs> T's not there. <laughs> Gary, you're a troublemaker. $35 to Tammy. Tammy's going to steal all the beautiful dresses. They're gorgeous. All right. No one else is interested. Tammy's going to get them all. Gorgeous. I used to dress my daughters like that all the time when they were little. <sighs> Uh, those white ones would make beautiful first communion dresses. Hi, Stacy. Yes, they would. They're all six, size six. Size six dresses. I was just looking at a picture of the girls all dressed up in their white dresses. Let me see if I can find it easily. Share it with you. 
Um, Tammy's at 35. Anybody else? They're so beautiful. I mean, they're really pretty for like pictures with Santa or um, First Communion, going to a party. Let's call it. There's no other interest. Congratulations to Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, honey. All right, I'll find that picture another time and share it with you. Okay, so that was lot number 12, and it was dresses, $35 to Miss Tammy. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for the support. Okay, let's do a Mickey lot. Let me just grab it. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. It's going to be everything that's in this tray. Okay, and I'll show you what's in here. All right. So the first item appears to be a pair of suspenders, would you say? And I'm going to start this lot off at 35. Yes, they are. They are Walt Disney production Sus suspenders. Oh no, it's not suspenders. It's a, it's a camera. It's a camera. Um, oh, it's yes, a camera yes, thing yes. for cameras. Cute. Okay, Walt Disney Productions on that. This came out of that um, house that I bought with all the Disney stuff. Yes, Janine. It's a Mickey Dibble Box. Okay, I can't get that back in there right now. All right, and then you get, you get this Mickey tie. It's new in the package, and that's the name on it. That's that. And then you got this Mickey tie. And it is a Mickey Unlimited. You get that. They just saved a, a bag, a Disney World bag, but it will go in the lot. I don't know why it's in there. You get a brand new license plate that says Disney MGM Studios. Let me put the cover on my pen, my marker. Okay, then you get two Disney calculators. Looks like they work. The other solar, solar powered. So you get those. You get Mickey invitations. These people must have bought anything that had Mickey on it. You get a Mickey pad. It says Norma on the bottom. Exclusive commemorative give, uh, gift day one, 2003, presented to day one charter card members. So get that. You get this Mickey basketball. I don't know if the... If that moves around when the clock's moving, I have no idea. Don't know anything about it. Um, you get this Disney MGM Studios opening spring 1989. 1989. That's old, right? It's old. Now she has the Mickey song stuck in her head. Comes with this. Keychain. Mickey keychain. Another Mickey keychain. Mickey spoons. Loved Mickey. What is this? This is Reed and Barton Sterling. You get a Sterling piece. Okay. 
It's Reed and Barton. And it has certificate, 1987 Disney ornament, um, brings real life favorites, blah, 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 blah. Crafted of sterling silver and full lead crystal. All right, let's look at it. Here it is. And there you have it. It's a little dirty. Sterling silver and crystal from Reed and Martin. Barton. Barton. Thank you. I knew I was wrong. I corrected myself. Comes in this pretty box. And it comes in. $35, guys. Any interest? Hey, toilet girl. Toilet girl lost her wrench. Hey, Scarlett. This looks like um, magnet. Here's a little book. No interest, I'll stop showing. Nope, no interest so far. All right, I'm going to stop showing. All right, we're going to pass on the lot, guys. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's a nice pen. All right. So we'll bring that back another. Living good, we were starting at 35 and we're going to pass on it. Oh, I forgot to put this on the Reed and Martin. I'll bring it back another night, you guys, where there might be some more interest in it. T, you want to go out? I'm ready. All right. There you go. All right, guys. Let's see if anybody wants some records, some albums. Do probably 20. I'll add one more. It looks like there's only 19 here. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we'll grab one more. All right. This is what I have. Willie Nelson and Ray Price. Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. $25 ship to start. T.G. Shepard. Bill Anderson sings Country Heart. Mel Street's Greatest Hits, Kenny Rogers, Songs of Chris Christopherson, Welcome to My World, Ray Price, I think that's a double in there, Marty Robbins' Favorites, Cal Smith, My Kind of Country, Susan Ray, Pity, Pity, Patter. That's a promotional Barbara Mandrell, Clean Cut. Country music, hits by country music stars. Country and, rail, country and Western Railroad songs. That's a demo. Joe Stampley, Greatest Hits. Superstars in country music. You got June at 25. All right. Freddie Weller, The Promised Land, another radio station record. The Statler Brothers Rides again. Let's see. There's something over. And there stands the glass, Carl Smith. Let's double check the count when we go through it one more time. And I'll make sure there's 20 in here. That's one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Oh, I showed the back before. <laughs> nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And we're going to call it to June book. All right, let's call to June. Thank you, June. I have two world champion size small Cubs tees. If anybody is interested, I don't think I have any more Cubbies. I think this is the end of the Cubs. Uh, 2016 World Series. Maybe I had one more, but I think that's it. I think that's it on the Cubs. Yep, that's going to do it on the cubbies. And that's going to do it. No more. Brand new Majestic. Oh, no, actually, these are Pro Weight, Delta Pro Weight. Adult Smalls. We'll do buy it now on these. Have a two for 15. First one to type in 15 can have both of them. Well, some people like the Cubs. What can I tell you? I know it's kind of uh, specific, but I have other sports teams. <laughs> what do you, who do you want, Sergeant Spork? Tell me. I'll look. I have other sports teams. Any interest? Any interest? If not, we'll pass on it. I'll bring it back. So I'll be here. It'll be part of my Buy It Now group over here. Anybody want a beer stein? Janine, we'll pay. Janine, we'll, we'll. Doesn't matter. If no one wants it, it's no big deal. This is. Kong Ludwig Dunkel. It, it doesn't matter if we pass or not. So buy it now. If somebody decides they want it, that's fine. I'll start this at, I'm going to have to ship it, so 10 bucks. there's any interest. Mm, there might actually be some kind of signed thing on here. Some kind of inscription or signed or something on here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is like a, a number or something etched in here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little better. I'll take a picture of it because I have no idea what it says. Maybe somebody else can read it. Also looks like there's a little bit of dirt, but you guys can clean that off. We'll see. Oh, that's weird. It didn't take the picture. How weird is that? That was very odd that it didn't take the picture. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a tech sergeant's book. <laughs> Hey, I have to concentrate. I have to concentrate. Any interest? Any interest? No? No, no, no? 1999? No? Nope. Okay. We'll pass on it. <coughs> How about three bottles of Pierre Cardin? I didn't even look these up yet. I was I was gonna bring them up and just sell them individually, but it's Pierre Cardin Cologne, two point eight fluid ounces, three of them, fifteen ship to start. We got three of them. All right, June comes in at 15. Leticia is at 17. And then there's three of them. Nineteen to Heidi Leslie. Dave, twenty one, hun. Two dollar increments. Two dollar increments, please. Leticia is in for 21. 23 is the next bid. Dave's going to go 25. Thank you, Dave. Okay. All right, Heidi is out. June is out. Leticia is out. We're going to call it to Dave for 25. Pierre Cardin, Sylvia. Pierre Cardin. Isn't it Cardin? I thought it was Don. All right, whatever. Who's Pierre Din? Cardin. It's D-I-N. Pierre Cardin? Yeah, it is Pierre Cardin. Sorry. No, it's okay. I, that's what I thought it was. But Don would be D-O-N, no? Yeah. Sorry. 27 from Sylvia. Don't be sorry. It is what it is. I could be pronouncing it wrong. God knows Carla was pronouncing Alexandra DeMarkoff as Alexandra Knockoff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't see one on there, Tammy. I just see numbers on the bottom of them. I just see numbers on the bottom of them. That's all I see. Like stamps. 92TA, W234, and X two thirty eight. 
I don't know if that's the lot numbers or what. Oh, and I said it was cologne. I have to correct this before we before we call this. Um, Janine, I have to correct this. Um, I said it was cologne. There's actually two colognes um, at 2.8 fluid ounces. So there's two of these. And the other one doesn't say cologne, so I guess it's probably just perfume. Um and this doesn't say cologne on it, and it also says it's four fluid ounces, 120 milliliters. So I want to correct that. So it's two cologne and two, and one rather. So it's three all together, two colognes, and this one is just the Pierre Cardin four fluid ounce. So this, um, what would be opposite of cologne? Perfume, I guess. I don't know. I didn't look anything up. It's funny. They are all... I'm trying to see if there's any. Oh, there is a difference in them. Okay, yeah, because if you can see the tops of these are silver at the bottom of the red line. And this is not silver at the bottom of the red line. So this is four fluid ounces of maybe perfume or not sure. Two cologne and one of this. So just so you guys know. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go twice then. Okay. Yeah, I think it's actually a better deal, Sylvia, <laughs> to be honest. But And with a fair warning... We're going to be sold to Sylvia for 27. Congratulations, Sylvia. Okay, honey, you can go. All right. Okay, so I brought this. It's it's really expensive, you guys. I'm going to offer it up here. If there's no interest, it's fine. It's a size extra large Wilson leather jacket. It's a kid's jacket. Um, if you're, I'm going to offer it to you at a special price. If you're not interested, I'll just go ahead and post it on eBay myself. Um, I am going to ask for $100 brand new. Um, if there's no interest, it's fine. Kids jacket. 24 is, um, who is that? Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. Okay, thanks. It's the back of it. The front of it. Original tags are on it. No interest. It's fine. It says NASCAR on it right there. All right, guys, any interest? All right, you can think about it. I have it here. If nobody wants it, like I said, I will list it. Okay, this next one is a members only. It's a size 2X. It's a leather jacket. Let me see if I have a hanger somewhere handy. I think I threw them all out. Um, size 2X men's leather jacket. And it's a members only. $20 to start on this. $20 on the men's. Could actually be women's too. Two X. Ooh, I like this. 
I like the style of men's. Um, hey, jewelry, etc. Hey, Laura. Hi, honey. You guys, that's the channel I was telling you about the other day. Look at how pretty this is. All right, Nikki's going to start us off at 20. Tammy's in for 25. It's really awesome. It fits nice. Well, that's always a fun task, Laura. I would do this. I would wear this. Very, very nice. Thirty to Nikki. It's an excellent condition. It has one inside pocket. It's all leather. No, no scuff marks. No nothing. Perfect condition. All right, Nikki G is at 40. Thank you, Nikki G. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, it's a beautiful jacket. Nothing like leather to keep you warm in the winter time. It, yeah, it's real leather. Yep. Absolutely. Wilson, I think, only makes. Um, no, this one's not Wilson. This is um, members only. Yeah, Wilson was the um, NASCAR yeah, jacket. Um, yeah. Um, Outer shell, genuine leather, lining, 100% nylon, knit, 100% acetate. 45 to Tammy. Yeah, the, the knit would be the, um, you know, the bottom. The bottom part is knit and the cuffs are knit. And it's got the nice classic collar. Not the pointy collar. Not that the pointy collar's out of style, but it's got the nice high collar that you can protect your neck with from the cold. God, I don't miss that. Oh, when you go outside and the boogies inside your nose freeze. <laughs> I don't miss that. That was the worst. I always felt like I had a runny nose when I lived up in New England in the wintertime. I was always had the sniffles. And then you go outside and your nose, your boogers all freeze up. It's awful. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, I'll just take another sip of coffee. <laughs> Carrie's like, oh, Donna, Donna, Donna. <laughs> Lisa Schomberger, how are you, honey? She says, what? Well, frozen boogies? <laughs> It's true. You guys know what I'm talking about. The ones that live up in New, up in the Northeast. T, don't you know what I'm talking about? I don't have a clue. I keep my nose blown. <laughs> you know that. Wow. <laughs> All right. Are we sold to Tammy for 55? Nikki is out. We're going to go twice. Carrie says I do, infor unfortunately. See, Carrie, you know, right? That's why she was laughing at me. It's like today when I was telling you that story and you couldn't stop laughing. And I said to you, the reason why you're laughing is because you know everything that I'm saying is the truth. It's, yeah. like, when, it's like when you go to a comedy show and you sit there and you laugh and laugh and laugh. It's because they talk about real life things that are going on and you're laughing hysterical. All right, members only. Congratulations, Tammy. I was 18 when I started jewelry. Oh. I don't know if that's random, Carla, or if you're having a conversation with her. She is. Jewelry, Laura's dying her hair. So Carla said she stopped dying her hair years ago. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming it has to do with the hair dying conversation. Uh, I do too, Carla. <laughs> um, I'm so it. I'm wondering if there's anybody in the Jewish faith that knows what these are. These came out of um, a house that were in the Jewish faith. Um, does anybody know what these are? It almost feels like petrified wood. Are they some sort of, and they're on like cords and they're, they're like, like three and two and three and two. I don't know if they're like praying things or anybody, anybody have any idea? Oh, the lot number was 13, Tammy. 
Does anybody have any idea what this is? Does not look familiar to me. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. No, nobody knows what they are. No, Jean's telling Tammy lot number twelve. Um, twelve was the dresses. Mm, that was lot number thirteen. Let me just double check. Maybe I made a mistake. Where are my slips? Mm. Oh, here they are. Maybe I made a mistake in my numbers. Let me see. One was the Girl Scouts. Two was the Small Dibble. Three was the um, the Bear Jade. Four was the Money Clip. Five was the Mickey watch six was the mickey watch seven was the movies eight was the mugs nine was the books 10 was the camera 11 was the pink and white dress 12 was the multiple dresses and 13 was the jacket so we're on 14 right now so that was 13 <clears throat> oh that's okay just wanted to make sure i didn't make a mistake so nobody knows what this is these here no idea Never go outside with wet hair, right, Jen Bennett? It'll freeze. Okay, I don't know what those are. If anybody knows what those are, if you're watching this video at a later time, let me know because I'm so curious as to what they have. They are okay. So I have it's. I don't. I haven't looked through this box yet. So you guys, we're gonna look at it together. Um. Let's see. I also have that Lord of the Rings, you guys, that no one bought. If anybody's interested in seeing that box, let me know. I can bring it back and show it to you. Um, I have a box of Christmas cards, a, a box full of Christmas cards. I don't know if there's any full ones in here, but I'll show you. Um, like, for example, this one says Merry, and there's definitely some cards missing in it. Um, this is going to be one lot, and I'm going to start this off at... Um, I'm probably going to take them out of the boxes if they're not complete. Um, like this one is an assortment, but look at some of them are so cute. Look, kitty lovers. How cute is that? Cute. I know my daughter would love that. Okay. So, and then there's money envelopes in here. I mean, I suppose I could leave them in the boxes that they're in. So, so this box is an assortment of stuff. I'm going to start this at 15. This one feels like it's complete. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. That one seems like it's complete. This one I think is complete as well. It's a UNICEF one and it looks pretty full. Like all of them are there. You guys are going to have to check. This one, um, this one is just a huge assortment of all different ones. And she's got them like tied up with holiday elastics, but it's, um, watch, I'm going to be looking for Christmas cards, like in another month to give gifts. Um, let me just make sure that these are not written in this box because I just, hey, found, Nancy. Hi, honey. I just found a holiday picture. <laughs> So let me make sure they're not like, oh, look, written in. Oh my gosh, good thing. Good thing I checked. Imagine if you guys got this and I'm like, Donna, they're all written in. Julie Morris. Some people still use the cover of Christmas cards though for crafting and stuff. Yeah, like look at how pretty this one is like all cut out. I don't know if it's up to you if you want them. Maybe you'll get lucky and find a gift card in one of them. And that'd be awesome. Anyways, I'll just include it. You guys can decide. You can go through it. Um, maybe that's good for junk journaling or something. Some people use them for. 
Okay, and then there's, um, oh yeah, so these are also, sorry, see, when I tell you I don't look at things before I bring them to auction, I really don't. These are written in as well. Yeah, these are, these are, look at how cute that one is though. Happy birthday, girl. So cute. Cards are so expensive. Oh, ha. Huh. Smile from ear to ear. Mickey. Okay, so there's that. And back to, let's get rid of the people's address. That would be not good. Okay, these are not written in. This is not written in. See, these came from that, um, and these are Hallmark. These came from that, um, yeah, they're not written in. So there's some, there's some Hanukkah cards in here. And then this one looks like it's pretty complete. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh yeah. So we wish you a Merry Christmas. So this box is complete. There's that. And let's get rid of these stickers. And there's one more. And it's this one here. Is there any interest in this lot of cards? Uh, these yeah. Are, these are also Hallmark. And let's see. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, what? Ten Janine. Um, wishing you a happy holiday season. Yeah, so there's a whole box of these, too. And these are Hallmark. So... So I'll show you what you get. So you get some new and some written in. Oh, so this is that box. And yeah, and so then there's a whole bunch of those in there. Yeah, I would, you know what I would do for Christmas? I Instead of using the little gift tags on my kids' Christmas presents and stuff, I would just cut these down and use those as the gift tags on them. Yeah. Somebody's what did you want to start the bid at? Um, well, how about, I mean, I think there's a nice assortment here. How about... um? Why don't we say 22? Why don't we say 22? That's so random. Okay, $22 ship to start, guys. <laughs> 22. Well, I'm thinking of what it's going to cost me to ship. This is what you got. Oh, and I should announce that next Wednesday night, I believe it's next Wednesday night. Let me look at the calendar. Which I can't find now because I put it somewhere and now I've moved everything. Next Wednesday night will be our monthly 11 11 for November 11th. 11 11 on 11 11. Awesome. But we'll do it on your channel since it's your number, not mine. Oh, thanks. All right, so we're going to pass on the Christmas cards. I don't see any bids. Anybody want anyone? Anyone? It's fine. All right, we'll pass on it. I'll keep them. I'll be looking. I'll be looking for Christmas cards. Trust me. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my god, I sold all those Christmas cards for twenty two dollars, and now I need Christmas cards. The kids are going to be like, Mama, do you have any Christmas cards? So thank you for not bidding. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Thank you for not bidding, you guys. You did me a favor. You just saved me money. Because <laughs> those those cat ones, I know the girls will just love them. The kitty ones. And they all just fit nice and neat in that cute little bag. So we'll put that under the Christmas tree. And the kids will have their cards that they're going to need for their friends and stuff. And um, 
those are the mugs just so that you know I'm being really careful with them I wasn't really careful with that but I'm being really careful with everything else Donna those aren't Christmas cards they were Christmas cards what's Shelly saying I don't know what are you talking about is she lagging am I showing something else what are they Oh, maybe she's on this. I don't know. Shelly, are you lagging, honey? Weren't they Jewish? Oh, she's really lagging. <laughs> Ooh. Can you write in the chat? She's yeah. Like, <laughs> what are they that they're Jewish? Okay, this is a dibble box. First thing inside the dibble box is this Fendi uh, dust cover. And this is a reseller box so if anybody has ever sold dust covers they actually sell really well if you ever come if you're ever shopping in thrift shops and you come across like louis vuitton they sell really well or coach um they sell excellent especially fendi so that's that's a good resell item for you resellers and here is a listen up it's um Brand new with tags. They're earmuffs, but they're headset. Um, then I threw in this vintage Barbie little cup thing. And this vintage 12 piece bake set thing. So this is kind of like a double lot. So we'll start it at, um, Started at 20. Started at 20 and see what happens. This is um a blood pressure cuff. And it appears I to be Vintage Memories is gonna start us out at 20. It appears to be brand new. Blood pressure cuff. And then it's pretty random. Well, I'm gonna come in for 25. Jean Autry, it's an eight millimeter film. I just kind of just threw some stuff in here. And there's one of these eight millimeter high quality video camera. And then there's one of these. Does that look like it's damaged? Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not. It's just the way it's just the way it's showing on the screen. See, it's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a mortgage it's calculator. Qualifier plus. It's a mortgage calculator. I have one. Oh, it's a mortgage calculator. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, you can use it for a regular calendar calculator, but it is a mortgage calculator. Yeah, it's not a calculator. It's really a financial calculator, but yeah. And it has um, it has the cover on it. I know these sell well, right? Yep, yep, a hundred percent. Um, I've sold them before. And then um, here is a iPhone eight plus. I know it's an iPhone eight plus because I bought this from my daughter for Christmas last year, and she's like, "Really, Mama?" She didn't like the bling on it. <laughs> she didn't like the bling on it. I guess the younger girls. I guess the younger girls. She's like, when have you ever seen me anything wearing anything? She's an athlete, right? She's she's kind of well, she's feminine, but she's kind of jockey, right? So <laughs> she's like, when have you ever seen me? So that's for an iPhone eight plus. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and then all of these belts. Where where's invisible better? You get one, three, four, five, five belts, all the same. Yeah. Shelly says my girl doesn't like bling either. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought she did. I, th I just thought she'd like it for the holidays. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. It's upside down. 38 from Vintage Memories. Where am I? Here. It's called Twig London. Twiggy of London. 
Oh, Twiggy, thank you. Twiggy of London. One, two, three, four, five. They're five different colors. Even though two of them look like they're the same, they're not. They're just a little bit different. You can see the little bit of variation on it. See? Okay, so that you get that. And then you get what that. Is from Leslie. Sergeant of Arms badge, maybe. We'll have to ask Sergeant Spork. Looks like Sergeant of Arms, but. That's going in there. Yeah, so the belts, the headphones, the vintage, this vintage, this cover. Um, forty two from Vintage Memories. Marine Corporal. Thank you, Sergeant Spork. It means Marine Corporal. Oh, Marine Corporal. Okay. I'm going to also include this Michael Kors dust cover. Leslie of um, 44. This Bruno um, Cuccinelli dust cover. This Donald Pilf Pilfner. 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 Pilner, Pilner. Pilner, yeah. Um, this Tory, Tory Birch dust cover. This Kate Spade dust cover. Another Kate Spade. It's all stuff I was going to post, and I have it. Eight now from Vintage Memories. This Bally. 50 from Leslie. And this Santorini. 55 to Vintage Memories. So you get all of those. Julia leg in a little bit, honey. We need 60. Leslie's in for 60. I'm going to put this in there, too. You guys, I have so many electronics that I haven't even like gone through. I'm gonna put this in there too. I have so many Apple products. That's gonna be another show. I haven't even like gone through to see what I got in Apple products. It's ridiculous. All right, Leslie's in at 60. Julie and Vintage Memories, let us know. Looking for 65. I'll do this too. 65 from Vintage Memories. This is like going shopping at the thrift shop, but from the comfort of your own home. Look at how cute that is. It's adorable. I'm going to put that in there. 70 from Leslie. Um, what else can I put in there? What's in this box? Mystery box. Oh, you're not going to want that. That's my, <laughs> my mount for my, uh, my hoozy watsy. All right. What else? I think that's us. I mean, I could keep going. God knows. 75 from Vintage Memories. Oh, I'll, I'll put this in there, too. This is that Israeli necklace. It says Israel on it. And someone said it's uh, dyed agate. And the, the, the thing says Israeli on it. I'm going to put that in there, too. What's going in there? <laughs> Lisa Schoenberger says, no, we don't need your whoozy whatsy mount. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this um, Mickey Mouse camera strap in it. 
the maybe back from vintage memories. I gotta get the piece that fell. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm also gonna put this I'm going to put that in there it's sterling silver and marcasite <laughs> vintage memories like I like it when T and Donna clean out their offices and make boxes sterling silver and marcasite Ninety now from Leslie. There you have it. That's going in there. Vintage memories now at a Benjamin. That's gonna go in there. Thank you so much. Whoopsie. Okay. I'm going to give it one more push. One more push. This is 925. Nine two five. So you get two pieces of 925 in this lot. I'll tell you how much this weighs. This is a beautiful bracelet. I was going to do it as a one-off. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. 120 to Julie. 130 to Vintage Memories. This is 13.9 grams of silver. Beautiful. Look at that. It's a biggie. It's not small. Okay, that's going to go in. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it. Okay. All this stuff, don't forget the eight millimeter film, the calculator. This is a huge dibble lot. The, the blood pressure cuff, the, um, yeah, just a ton of stuff. Um, Julie is out. Vintage Memories is in at 130. Awesome. Vintage Memories, 130. Is everybody out and done, done and done? Done and done. Done and done for the Dibble Box. Anyone else? Let us know. I think we're finished. Going twice. All right, congratulations, Vintage Memories. You got a nice lot there. Beautiful. Okay, T, you ready? I'm not. <laughs> I have nothing else really ready. I'm sorry. I've, I didn't even look. Oh, you know what? I have this coat here. Let's see if anybody's interested in this coat. Okay. It's a regular coat. Um, but if somebody's interested, it's just a Crofton barrel. It's a size large. It's like almost brand new and, um, make me an offer for it. If somebody wants it, it's beautiful. There's not a mark, a stain, nothing on it. I'm trying to get everything done out of this closet. So it's got a hood. It's got that micro, it's that micro fleece kind of material. Again, it's a size large. It has these buttons. The top one's not buttoned. It has buttons and a zipper, actually, and then a string 
with the hood. It's got lots of pockets. I will um, button this up so you guys can just see these buttons, um, what they look like. It's like a soft blue. Pretty. It is pretty. It's, and it's soft. Very pretty. It's really soft. Um, just a nice, you know, regular what's jacket the, for the spring or the fall. What's the size on it? Large. Large. Good size. It's, <coughs> it's a decent large, too. Yeah. So it's got it's got the zipper. Everything works. I, I probably very lightly worn, if, if at all. Actually, maybe never. I don't know because it's still hanging the button on the an extra button on there. So I don't know. Maybe it was maybe it's just new without tags. I would almost guarantee it's new without tags, but you know, I never like to say that. But it, it looks brand new. If anybody wants to take a chance, I don't know. 10 15 bucks. What do you guys think? It's, if it fits somebody, it won't fit me. It'll be too small. I mean, it's so terrible, but, you know, it's the 44 double Ds that are going to kill me. <laughs> but any interest? Dolores, 10? Anybody want to do any better? 12? Again, it's got that micro fleece. Got pockets here. It's got a pocket up here. It's a size large, Susan. It's a large. It's a decent large, though, Susan. And like I said, I don't think it's ever been worn. It looks, it's so clean. And you've got um, still the button um, for spare here hanging. Julie comes in at 12. Thank you, Julie. So, um, Susan Arrington wants to know if it's uh, a woman's large, like, yes. size, yeah. Yeah. I mean, although it seems, yeah, it's definitely a woman's coat. No doubt about it. No, you know how there's like, um, regular size, large, and then there's women's, which is like kind of plus sizes. Large dance feet. I don't know. Dish the large just means I can, I can get it out on without it feeling tight, <laughs> but it doesn't come to anyways. <laughs> Craft and it's a Croft and Barrow, Andrea. It's just a Croft and Barrow. I mean, just you know, it's a, it's a bread and butter, or whatever. But uh, it's for personal use more than anything else. It's just a nice jacket. Never, I, I really want to say it's new without tags. Um, could have honestly been my, been my mom's. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. Um, she liked to buy a lot of stuff. All right, Dolores is going to go 14. All right, let's sell to Dolores for 14. Thank you, Dolores. Do you have something else you want, want to show? I'll, I'll, grab, I'll grab this other. I'm, I'm trying to empty this closet here, so let me just okay, grab this. So keep other going. Thing. We have a nice uh, crowd in. We have 85 people in. If you're, tired and, if you're tired and you want to take a little break, that's fine. If you want to eat or something and come back. I'm starving. Well, yeah, you can go eat. I, I have some things set up here that I can um, show. All right. Let's see if anybody wants some clothes, clothes, because I sold some suits the other night, and I guess I probably missed this one somehow because I found it in the closet, and I said, darn, I should have put it with the other suits. This is a Brooks Brothers. It's a 346 Brooks Brothers stretch it's uh made in jordan i don't know if that makes it vintage <laughs> i don't know what that makes it um <clears throat> the pants are a 34 l again that's provided nothing's been you know you know, with suits, you don't know what men's. You have to do measurements on men's. So, again, nice cuff there on the pants. And then the jacket. The jacket is a 42 long. So, again, 
42 long on the jacket. Did we not call the jacket? Did my chat freeze? Did my chat freeze? What did we lose Janine? Oh, she had a refresh. Okay, I missed that, Janine. Sorry. All right, let me just make sure I have type sold in the chat. <laughs> all right, sold on the jacket to all right, there we go. Okay, we're we're sold on um can you shrink it to a 40 regular? I have no idea on alterations. You might be able to, um, but it is a 42 long on the jacket. So that's the jacket. And again, the pants are a 34 long. And then I've got two other men's jackets here. This one is a Pierre Cardin. <laughs> Unlike what we said before, <laughs> this is a Pierre Cardin. It's lines. And this one is yeah, it's vintage, mainly you could all USA. Don't have a size on it though. Do not have a size. You're gonna have to do measurements on it again, fully lined. So you get the suit, you get that jacket, and then the third jacket I have here is this one is called Pro Profilo. And this one is I think she stepped away, Jenny. We'll have to wait till she comes back. I know I'll find it in one of these pockets. <laughs> I know I will find it in one of these pockets. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. This is just dry clean only, yada, yada, yada. I do not see a size on this one. Mm -hmm. nope. well, you're going to have to do measurements on it. Honestly, you'll have to do measurements on it. I can put it up to the other one. It might be similar but you should always do measurements on this stuff because you never know if it's been altered or not yeah they're probably worn by the same person so it's probably close to a 42 l it's definitely long can definitely say it's long so you got those two jackets and the suit the brooks brothers suit and uh i didn't give you a sodding bid yeah for sure hey tal how you on ah what do you guys think? 20 to start? What do you guys think? I know clothes is work for you guys. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Four pieces. That's almost going to empty my closet. Almost, almost. <laughs> Maybe. No, none at all. None that I can see, Summers. Ah, I see. I wish I was bigger. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're definitely nice, Sergeant Spork. But if, but if there's no interest, we'll pass on it. It's fine. 
We'll pass on it. All right, we passed. All right, the, the, this one, this coat I have, um, this one is just a regular kind of 1X, this one is. It's very long, covers the hiney, covers the butt. <laughs> uh, nice and long. It's a lightweight, it's very lightweight. It's just polyester. Um, it's a 1X. It's got a zipper and buttons. It's again new with new new without tags. This is definitely new without tags. I know this for a fact. It's got a hood. Okay, Nancy. That's okay. Summers. So that's what this one is. Comes. It's very long. Definitely covers your hiney for the cold. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to start this at? At we could start it at twelve. It's unbranded. I don't see a brand on it. It is a one X. It's got the zipper and the buttons. There's something to you know run in and out of the car with, in and out of the house with. It's like a, uh, it's a different green. Um, it's not really hunter green. It's close. But it is like a um, greenish blue, I guess. Would be. What? Got pockets. Hey, Miss Martha. Hi, honey. But if there's any interest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a greenish. It almost, I guess maybe teal is the right word for it, but not that brilliant teal, kind of like a dull teal. Yeah, it's more it, It's more of a green blue, I guess. Yeah, we're in Texas. It's very lightweight. It's, you know, it's, no, you're not wearing this up in, you know, the mountain ski country. It's not like a ski jacket. It's a, it's a lightweight, but, you know, you can also put a little something underneath it. It's just something to throw to cover the honey, like a windy, you know, like almost like a windbreak. It does. The hood is detachable, just FYI. Yes, Dolores, please, please wait for an invoice, honey, please. Yes, we do like to invoice. All right, Tony's going to give me 12 for it. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, it's definitely enough for like 30 below in, <laughs> in, in Colorado or anything on the ski mountain for sure. All right. And that's uh, my lot number 11. That's going to be, we're going to call it to Tony. Let's go once to Tony. And we'll go 12 going once. And we'll go twice now. And with a fair warning. Yeah, right, Carrie, exactly. Not when your boogers freeze. <laughs> and we'll be sold to Tony for $12. Congratulations, Tony. Where are you, Miss Donna? Are you there? I'm here. The girls just got home. Sorry, I was chatting with okay. them. The Vikings are hungry. Okay. Oh. All right, you guys. I'm going to go up to you. Go get yourself something to eat. I just grabbed something real quick. Um, okay. So I have these awesome keychains. Um, I'll show them to you. Janine's I'm going to start these off number. at 15. I'm on 15. I'm on 15. So you've got this little Asian mouse. You have this. Um, it looks like it opens, but it doesn't. 
kind of like little compact type of thing. You have this one. What's it say on it? Julie? Yeah, it says Julie. There's that one. That's three. Um, there's this one. That's four. What's that say on it? It says Miss. I think it says Miss. I don't know what it says on it. Let's look at it. Wrong side. Yeah, Miss. It says Miss. And then you have this one, which is a lipstick. And finally, you have this one, which is a purple backpack. So I'll show you what you get. You get one, two, three. You guys, you can look these up. I know someone bought these from me and they sold one of them for like $30. That's four. That's five. And that's six. Six of them. Six bling bling keychains. They're pretty dangled off of pocketbooks or backpacks. The cat's arm move. Where's there a cat? Any other interest? Oh, that cat? No, it doesn't move. They're really pretty. They're beautiful. Hey, Talbert's mom. Beautiful collection. 17 to Moni Love. No, the, yeah, that, that's that's the one that's the one that's the one that's the one that's the Twenty-one to Money Love. Sorry, nineteen to Summers. Twenty-three to Summers. I miss your smile and laugh. Oh, thanks, Talbert's mom. You should have watched me yesterday morning when I was having too much coffee. <laughs> Money love is out. Summers is at 23. $23 for all the keychains. Awesome. To Summers. For the keychains. Yeah, I was like, couldn't stop. I was like, ah, oh, it's crazy. Lot number 15. Uh, $23 to Summers. Very good. Congratulations, Summers. Nice purchase. Those are beautiful keychains. Hopefully one and you'll get your money back. All right, here's my next lot. There's all peony hose. Some of them are vintage, which is good because people look for them. And it's pantyhose season. So let's start this lot at $30 and I'll show you what I've got. $30 to start. One, two, Danskin's always a great name. 
three, four. Lord and Taylor, and it's got that pretty five, six. Seven, eight, nine, Javinci, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. Mama? Yes, honey. Would you like the same bowl as daddy? Sixteen. Sorry, guys. Yes. We're ordering dinner. Yes. Okay. What are you ordering for me, Um, Chipotle. 18. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. These are thigh high ones. Thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, and a whole bunch of miscellaneous ones. Thirty-two. Oh, there's even kids' ones. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty. This one's called Great Shapes, but it's out of the package. Thirty-five, thirty-six pairs. 36 pairs. Any other interest? We have Tammy at 25. 36 pairs. Awesome lot. Casual flipper says, wait. All right. Casual flipper comes in at 27. This is lot number 16, peony hose. 27. 30 from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. What about 32 casual? Tammy's at 30. It's a great deal. How many pairs was there? That's like a dollar a pair. 30, 36, not even. Not even a dollar a pair. 32 from casual. A lot of great names in there. Forty from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Casual flippers out. Tammy gets them for $40. Great deal, Tammy. Tammy's a smart buyer. Pantyhose to Tammy for $40. 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How was your house out of toilet paper when you're at Costco every day? Oh, you can hear them talking? Oh, yeah. We're, right now, we are out of toilet paper and paper towels and the wipies for the toilet. You know, the little moist, white, flushable wipey toilet things? Yeah. We're, the girls use those all the time. We're out of everything. And we do. We we just did a big Costco run, and we just we run out of stuff all the time. It's just so ridiculous. Can't keep up. That's why I have to work so hard <laughs> to buy toilet paper. I swear my kids eat it. Noisy in the back. I'm sorry, you guys. Quiet. Quiet on the set. People are complaining. Sorry, people. Nobody's complaining. Nobody is complaining. They just thought it was noisy. What? My house echoes. Okay. So I'll move into the garage one of these days. Then it will be nice and quiet. Okay. Who remembers? Not Joe Biden. T, you don't remember caboodles because you didn't wear makeup. No. She doesn't know what caboodles is. Who well, I know what they are. Leslie. <laughs> that was Chessie saying, sorry, people. <laughs> caboodles. You guys remember these? So um, this one only has the one tray inside of it. it. I don't know if it's missing. It might be missing the other tray because I... If My I Amy says she still has her first one. If I remember... Oh, you do, Amy? Yeah. If I remember um, correctly, they had two, two, things, two. one on um, each size. A season still has it. Okay, there's that caboodle. And there's this caboodle. So there's two caboodles. These are from the 80s. This one's missing everything inside. But nevertheless, it's still a caboodle. And I will do both of these to start. People buy these for nostalgia reasons. Both of these to start $25. Caboodles. Hot pink and baby pink. No kitten caboodle. So that's what a caboodle is. This <laughs> is what a Yep, this is what a caboodle is. These were so popular. Everybody wanted a caboodle back in the 80s. Not me. I wanted a mitt and a glove. <laughs> Why is Casual Flip the same? Thanks, T. Is she lagging? Maybe because you said they're not complaining, and I thought... I oh. Because Casual Flipper said it noisy in the background, so I yelled at my family for being noisy. So she's probably saying thanks for protecting her. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you onto the bus, but they were being noisy, Casual it's Flipper. Okay, it's not bothering anybody. And uh, pass on the caboodles. I messed her third and paint my nails. Listen, when I was into boys, I started doing stuff like that. <laughs> Your arms must be tired. Try to switch with another. My arms aren't tired. Oh, thanks, Talbert's mom. Okay, so we're going to pass on the caboodles. Pass, pass, pass. Besides, the Vikings are usually good for a lap or two. All right, so how about if we start the caboodles at 20? Is anybody interested in 20 for the caboodles? $20 for the caboodles. Carlos has passed. Janine says passed. Frank wants to know if you finished emptying the truck. I didn't, Frank. I didn't. Tammy said she'll give you 20. All right. 20 to Tammy. Anybody else? Or should we give them to Tammy? For the caboodles.
have more coffee. <laughs> Frank, I just had a cup. Big cup. I was yawning. All right, let's sell it to Tammy for $20. All right, going once now to Tammy. For the caboodles. I love saying that word. Can you tell? I've said it 15 times. Yep. The whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. She gets both caboodles. Okay. This is my next lot. They come in these nice boxes, but just beware that it says on them to mom. I don't know what that says. To mother. That's what it says. To mother. To mother. Okay. So... They are made of metal and they do have a switch on the bottom. You're going to have to unscrew it and change the, uh, oh no, you don't have to unscrew anything. You have to change the batteries. You have to change the batteries on them. Hold on. Let me put that back in. It's this one's a cat and it, it must illuminate. And then it has um, the hook to hang them up. And the cat's like holding on to the big ball. So there's that one. And I'm going to start these <clears throat> at 20. You get both with a $20 start. You get that one and you get this one. And that's a mouse. A little mouse. And they're metal. They're metal. Neither one of them, the batteries work on them. So you get the mouse. All right, Amy's going to start us off at 20. They're so stinking cute. I mean, I don't I don't think you can hang them on a Christmas tree because they're so heavy because they are metal. I you could probably what I would do with these is I would take a red ribbon and string them and hang them somewhere else, like yeah. over a fireplace. Yeah. Or, you know, like I have a center islands, like the, sometimes I'll hang something from the lights or something from it. Yeah. Even from a chandelier. Yeah, exactly. They'd be cute hanging from a chandelier. You can even do them like in, in your front window. Yeah. Staggered. Yeah. Or in a kitchen window. If you have a bay window, they'd be so cute with like either a gold cord or a red ribbon. Yep, on the dinner table. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, and you could just put them on the dining room table, too. You don't have to hang them. No, you don't. They look like ornaments. They don't have to actually be ornaments. Yeah, they have little pads on them, so you could put them on your island, on your bar, on your you table. Stick them on the mantle, yep. Yep, stick them on the mantle. Put Kids the other lights, yep. Yeah, night light. You want to go 22 on these? They're really beautiful. Or even in the bathroom as a night light. Yeah. Right? They'd be so yeah. cute sitting in the bathroom as a little night light. Or as a gift for someone. They come in these really great gift boxes. Yeah, and you can always put put a sticker over where it says mother. Yeah. It's like one this one doesn't say anything. Just the, just the one says to mother. Oh, okay. So give one to mom and keep one. Or give one to mom and give one to sister. Yeah, you could very easily just put like a Christmas sticker on there. They're a little bit dusty too. You'll have to dust them off. Dirt and dust. Always free here at the auctions. Okay. Did All we right. get a bid? We got a twenty dollar bid from Amy. We're gonna go once. Cat and mouse ornaments. They're really cute. We're gonna go twice now. Twenty dollars. And with a fair warning to hot mess thrifter Amy. Hot Miss Thrifter. And we are going to be sold. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Very cute. What else did I bring out? Um, 
What else did I grab? Um, T, do you have anything? No, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll do a dibble box. Dibble box coming up. I'll do a dibble box. 94 of you here. Thank you so much. Because, you know, I always have to clean things out. So, Donna, my, my package made it to FPO address. What does FPO mean? Um, I thought FPO or APO is usually like a military address. Oh, 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 yes, Nancy. I'm sorry. She was uh, she had called me and asked me a question about it. So um, that's what she's referring to. Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Tea's coming up, you guys. Dibble box. All right. So, and this is heavy. It's not branded. I don't see any name on it, but just um, a really pretty heart. Oh, it is branded. Oh, it's Falscraft. It's Falscraft. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Falscraft. Falscraft. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. Get that. We're going to start this off at 25, guys, because you'll see why. This is ceramic, this basket. This is a really? ceramic basket. Again, um, oh, it is marked. It's uh, Tuscany, made in Italy. Awesome. Let me see. Hmm. All right, so you get that. And then I have this... Uh, I don't know what looks to be little little baby little boy this is uh sir actually there's a number on here it's it's numbered but i don't know what the um it's 23 of 114 mm -hmm. probably needs a little magic eraser on the bottom for shelf wear um uh, maybe even a little bit on looks like his neck is a little dirty he was probably out playing or something um reading a book well it's a little statue but i, I don't know who it is it's like you know it just has that number on it. it's not marked um, then we have a little Courier and Ives, uh, Christmas Snow, Courier and Ives. It's just a regular drinking glass. Oh, it was an Arby's. It was a collectible. It was an Arby's collectible. Courtesy of the Museum of New York. New York. Hmm, okay. And then I have just this little, it's like a little, there is some candle left in here, but I don't, I don't want to just give you guys this because the bottom of this glass is made in Taiwan. So it seems vintage. So burn the rest of the candle. <laughs> then there's this little metal brass box. I don't see any branding on it at all. It's different. It's like slanted the inside. Yeah. Yeah. That would be used for slanted like that. I don't, I don't know. It's interesting. And then I have these two matching. They're um, they're like pillar. I guess pillar can't. I think they're matching. I'm gonna take the other one out of the box. This is like a small pillar, and let me, it's it's accents. But let me see. This one's in the box, but this one looks like it's the same pattern. Oh, excuse me. I meant to put myself on mute before that came out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it is almost like a small and a tall pillar. Um, I probably have some nerve putting all of this ceramic in one dibble box. <laughs> oh, my God, and it just gets worse. Wait, out, wait, wait. You guys, <laughs> wait, wait, you see what else. <laughs> wait, you see what else. This is um, Anchor Hawking pretty but i just cleared a bunch of stuff off my back shelf and i've been giving a piece of fruit in every dibble box <laughs> i think i've given now i have given now a pear and i think an apple i think a pear and an apple so this one this one oh this is an apple isn't it yeah, I guess yeah. It, so then it wasn't a peach i know that because i never had one <laughs> i can't remember now Thank yeah maybe a green apple a green apple and a pear i think Everybody should know what this this is. Lennox. Yes. Again, a little magic eraser on the bottom, but it's it's good. No, no um, chips. 
chips, cracks, or crazings. This is just a decorative, well, hang it on the wall type of thing or in the bathroom or somewhere just for, just it, that's what it is. It's just like a little decoration that this is a, I don't know, it's not open. It's a vintage calendar. It's, it's not vintage. It's a, just an older calendar, but it does have um, all the scenes of the Longwood Gardens in it. So mm. just, just even pretty for the pictures if anybody's um, looking for something like that. Why is somebody yelling tea? Can I see that? Oh, bless no. it. Oh, okay. No. You can come. You're good. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know why this is like this. I don't know if I want to put too much more glass in this lot. It's going to be too heavy. I think we'll skip on that glass. Oh, how about this? It's like a canvas. You can hang this in the, in the kitchen or over the table. Cafe a lot. And it's a Paris. Paris. Oh, and I'll throw this in here. This is, I don't know, it just looks like Japanese or something at the bottom. But it's just a little stand maybe for a vase or something. I don't have the vase. I don't know where if, if I ever did what happened to it or if it's just something like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'll put this in. I'll get this off my desk. This is one of these Welcome Home Concentrated Fragrance Blue Heaven Atkinsons. And what else can we grab? Oh, heaven. Ugh, can't reach it. Oh, and the calendars. Yeah, all right. So I'll make sure I'm making, not making the box too, too crazy, crazy. Hmm. Yeah. Is it true that I heard that they're checking all IDs for anybody entering into New York City? That you have to, have you heard that? I haven't heard that. I have no idea. I mean, we were just in Pennsylvania last weekend. Nobody checked our IDs coming in. No, like that's something that was, is going to be instated like today. Uh, I haven't heard anything, to be honest with you. No. Yeah, I haven't heard any. Oh, this one, Vintage Memories? Yeah. No interest, we'll pass on it. Everyone from out of town. Really, Nance? How come? Yeah. Anybody anybody passing through or entering New York City has to have a proof of a COVID test, recent COVID test with them. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Frank said, I Frank Frank's right here with me on Long Island. I mean, well... I guess my son will be okay because he's in Pennsylvania, but he has a New York driver's license and a New York plate. So they shouldn't stop him. I don't know. Friday, Connecticut is going back to phase two. Oh yeah. They're going to shut us down again. I, I feel it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. If there's no interest, we'll pass. We'll pass on it. All right. Passed. Passed, passed, passed. Yeah, and that's really all I have. I don't have much more together or ready for today. I'm kind of like, I didn't put, put a lot of, I mean, you know I have more stuff, but I just, I don't have anything that's really put together right now. You know, unless every, somebody wants albums again, I can pull together 20 more albums. <clears throat>
probably because they have this new thing. You don't have to quarantine now 10 days or it's less of a COVID test. Huh. I don't know. All right. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and show this lot, but, um, am I clothing people in the, in the chat? In Kentucky, we had 1980, oh, well, 1986 new COVID cases today. Oh, wow. Well. I have a pretty high end clothing lot here starting, but I'm not going to show it if my clothing people are not in the, in the chat because you guys will be bored, all the people that are not clothing people. Oh, this can go in that Dibble lot with the other dust covers. I just found another dust cover. Where are those? Where is that Dibble lot? Is it here? Yes, there it is. Um, let's see. Andrea's here. Okay, Andrea. Um, okay. All right, I'm I'm gonna start it. And Andrew, you have a you have a amazing double lot coming out to you, honey. Um, let's see, this one's got some stains on the front of it. Hold on, let me just check and see what else is in this bag. You guys, if you come across stuff like this in your vintage shops when you're travel in your travels, this stuff sells like crazy. I actually have another piece. I sold a little tiny piece of vintage fabric of um, I think it was Disney vintage fabric. I mean, it was just a piece of fabric, literally a piece of fabric for a hundred dollars. Wow. It was crazy. Yeah, I don't know what they do with them, but like this is this is a, another piece of vintage. Um, it's a pillowcase. Has anyone had any experience with selling um, these vintage fabrics? They sell like crazy. They're really good. They're really good sellers. All right. This is what I have. <clears throat> I'm going to start it at $100. I'm going to start it at $100. Um, this is called Cosa Bella. Cosa Bella. Cosa Bella. I'll put it. Cosa Bella, it's made in Italy. It's just a cute little pot. That's the one in the bag. Um, next is this cashmere sweater. It does not have the name on it, but it says cashmere on the label. So you'll have to do measurements and figure out what it is, but it's an excellent condition. Um, so that's a cashmere sweater. Cashmere, cashmere sells for me like crazy when I list it, but I just have too many nice things to list. This one here is um, another great brand name, and it's extra small, and it is silk. That's awesome. And here is another great brand name. How are the cruise ships going to survive? There's like no cruise ships anymore, right? I don't think so. I have no idea. G-A-I-A-M, size large, 100% organic linen. These pants are absolutely beautiful. I, um, on on them. I call these rich people pants. They're absolutely beautiful. There's some people out there that will only wear things like linen and cashmere. A lot of people are like allergic to um, synthetic fibers. So that's why they go after the linen. Okay. These here, I have sold, and I still have more of these. I have sold probably 25 of these, and they sell for about $25 to $30 each. They're called Bellino, made in Italy. And these came out of an estate. It's yellow and white. They're in excellent condition, and you get two of them. One and two. 
they're absolutely beautiful and i have sold them these definitely have a following so you get that you get andrea knows this shirt these have a huge following as well it's corduroy it's a pretty kind of charcoal color it's very nice it's called the shirt that's going in there here's a home run these are if you look up this name you'll fall off your ankles bruno cuccinelli They're corduroy. Those are going in the lot. Here is another huge home run. Standard by James Purse. Size three. Great size. Again, these have a huge following. These will sell for probably no problem at $75. Even $80. So this is a great reseller lot. This is a pair of vintage Tommy Hill figure, vintage shorts. That's going in the lot. This is a gold label Roundtree in York, size large. Another home run. Here is extra large Under Armour. That's going in. And finally, R and R casual double XL orange polo shirt. All brand names. I know you guys may not be hundred percent familiar with them, but it's all very, very expensive high-end brand name clothes. Is anybody interested? Hi painting the roses red. Welcome. Yeah, they're pillowcases. Can't see the black tag. On what, Andrea? The pillowcases? Starting bid is 100, Steve. Oh, the black shirt. Oh, Andrea, this is the, um, it's shades. Um, it's, uh, it's the shirt, it's shades. You know this brand. Steve Vash is at a hundred. You'll make that back on the Cuccinelli pants. I've sold quite a few. <clears throat> Anybody else? $100 for the clothing lot. And the pillowcases too, you guys. They sell really, really well. Oh my gosh, I had so many of them. I got a stack of them. And I listed them. And I've, I've sold a bunch. And I, I still have some more left. Who is friend next to you, Donna? Who's this? This? My latest little friend keeps me company. Hey, Virginia. All right, Steve's got it for $100. Deal of the deal. JoJo comes in at 110. Hey, Craig. Thanks for coming in. One ten to Jojo. Jojo, it's a bunch of great stuff in there, honey. Really beautiful stuff. Don't forget about the cashmere sweater. Ca list the cashmere sweater immediately and you will sell it. It's like $40, $50 guaranteed on the cashmere. Ninety-two of you here. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with us. So we've been on for four hours too. Yes, ma'am. 
All right, we're going twice to JoJo. What size are the clothes? All different sizes. All different. It's a reseller lot. And we're sold. Sold, sold, sold for $110 to JoJo. All right, JoJo, you're going to be very happy with this lot, honey. How you doing, Jolene? Oh, thanks, JoJo. Mwah. Thank you. You are going to be so happy with this one. And Andrea, you're going to be very happy with yours that you've got coming too. Trust me. You're going to love it because Andrea gave me a nice order for one. Okay. Let me just mark this bag. Dana F. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yay. Thank you for supporting the channel. Hey, Dana. All right. This is for Jojo. Jojo, this will go to you tomorrow. Great lot, but had to pass this time. Oh, Andrea, you've got some nice stuff coming, honey, so you're good. You are good. Okay. Excuse me, Buster. Okay, I'm going to do another lot of... Um, actually, I have another bag of clothes, but it doesn't work. There's many clothes buyers in here, so I'm, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. Um, Steve Vash and, and JoJo, and I know Andrea's got a bunch of stuff coming, so... She's probably being a little bit conservative until she lists some stuff, which I get, Andrea. I understand. Let me do another um, lot of movies. I'll start them at $25, okay? Um, it's a big box. It's um, probably like, I don't know. How many would you guys say that have ordered them from me? Like probably 30 40 pieces. It's a lot of stuff. Talbert's mom, you going to bed, honey? Lot 20 movies starting bid 25. Thank you, Janine. Yeah, there's some. Um, it's a lot of great stuff in it. Uh, see, Jen Bennett, yeah. Like, it depends on the size of the stuff. Like, 30, 40. There's eyelash curlers. There's filing net, um, kits. There's, it's not just makeup. There's lip liners, lipstick, foundations, powders, blushes. All kinds of stuff. Good night, Woodbine Girl. Thank you so much for staying here and watching. I appreciate it. Let me know, Amy, if you want me to make you one up. I will. I'll be happy to. I gotta pull it out tomorrow because I've got one going out tomorrow. Um, so it's fifty-five dollars for the box, and trust me, it's worth it. Because, like, you know, you you know how expensive like, just mascara is when you go to the store. Um, yeah, fifty-five for the box. Okay, so here's Casino Royale. And artificial intelligence. And the chronicles of... Can you read that to you? She's eating. Riddick. 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 And let's see... Oh, okay. Um, stealing Sinatra. Yeah, no kidding, right? I know, which is why I started buying this makeup in mean, the huge lots that I buy it because my girls would want my girls would go to CVS. They'd say we got to go to CVS, and I'd walk out of CVS hundred dollars, and they each got like three, four things. So yeah, it's it's why I started buying these. These um, makeup lots, now they're like so happy. Okay, the fourth kind, because I got tired of spending all that money. Oh, this was a great movie, Backdraft. I remember that. La Bamba. Dynasty. Nantique says she would like a lot. Nantique. Oh, okay. Thank you, Nantique. Um, makeup lot. Yeah, I'm pulling that stuff out tomorrow to make one. So, you guys, if you want one, let me know. N-A-N-T-I-Q-E. 
sure you won't be disappointed. Okay, so that was lot number 20. Janine, I hope I'm not going to um, mess you up. I should have put that as 21. Okay, the movies are going to be 21. I don't know if we're going to get any bids on them, but we'll see. Um, the Incredibles. My family loved that movie. Um, Simon Birch. That looks like a sweet movie. Something I probably would love to watch. Yes, Nantique. We please wait for an invoice. Shout. Yeah. Yep. I'll invoice you tomorrow morning. I'll be doing my invoicing and shipping tomorrow morning. Thank you, honey. Yeah, Dana F is is registered, honey. Dana Dana F is registered. Oh, thank you, Dana. Um, do you or T have anything for Acme grandson going through that age? For what? Acme grandson going through that age. I don't know what that Oh, for means. acne. Oh, for acne. I don't. No. No, but you know what works really, really good at the supermarket? Um, do you accept Venmo? I do. I do accept Venmo. You want to send me the money in Venmo instead of me invoicing you? Um. T, what is, um, oh, I started to say that I got, okay. Um, it's called Pfizoderm. Set of, uh, set of fill face wash is amazing for acne. Okay, Leslie, the other one is called Pfizoderm. Pfizoderm is amazing for acne. Um, the last time I went looking for it for my daughter at CVS, they didn't have it. So I had to order it online. Oh, and if you order it online and you go to Amazon, <laughs> please use this link <laughs> to make your purchase because I earn a small commission if you do that. Um, anyways, it's called Physoderm and it's spelled with a PH. Physoderm is also great. They have a baby one that's great for cradle cap. Yeah, Physoderm is awesome. It's really, really awesome. It cleared up. My daughter had a, just a little bit of acne and it cleared it up, but he has to use it. He has to wash his face twice a day. And, um, you know, no other creams or lotions, just the Physoderm. Okay. This one's called The Specialist. And this one's called Sudden Impact. Wow, these are all really great movies. Um, Mystic Pizza. I never watched this, but I heard that this was awesome also. Mystic Pizza. Murad is amazing also. I've never heard of that. Um, okay, so 25 to start on the movies. Matrix. Craig comes in at 25. Thank you, dear. Um, this one is um, double feature, The Arrival. Charlie Sheen, Patrick. I don't know. I don't know movies that well, you guys. I'm a rookie. Friday Night Lights. Um, that's a mu that's a music CD. Um, Sherlock Holmes. What's in these two big things? Oh, Alien. I can't say that word. Your Kermit plush. Guess who's back? Who's, who is that? <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. Look at this. I probably should do this one as a one-off. Look at all these movies. What? Dun, 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 dun. That's a lot of movies right there. Oh, wait. It opens up even more. Are you kidding? I'm never going to close this. Yep, and they're all there. That's a lot of movies. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. I think it went like this and like this. Yes, I got it. Okay. Right? Holy movies is right. It comes with this case. The case is really awesome, too. I don't know if this was like a popular... Okay, so that goes in the lot. And then let me grab a couple of more. Any interest? Any other interest? 
It is I, your Kermit Flash, Ola Amigos. Who is that? Suicide Kings will go. Oh, look at the dust. Sorry. Dust comes with it. Santa hey, Trent, huh? Just saying hi to Jackie and Sarah. Is that really? Who? Oh, hey, well, Treasure. Sarah. Nice, li nice affiliate link sharing, Donatella. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Shout out to the Treasure Hustlers for just getting me all set up with the affiliate links. Did they put you set up on Venmo too? No. Oh, I was just, I didn't know you had a Venmo. Uh, I'm, I'm almost positive I do. Oh, okay. Let me look. I know I do. No, I didn't do it. They didn't help me do that. No, I have Venmo. Oh. Okay. I mean, I hardly ever use it. But yes, I have it. You know what I don't like about Venmo? You're going to have to like teach me. I don't like how I can see what other people are spending money on. Like my friend Maria, she she wrote Christmas decorations. Sensi replacement. You know who this Kermit plush is? Because I'm going to delete them. Um, no, I don't know who it is. There's, we don't like spamming in the chat. So please don't spam the chat. No. I have no idea who it is. Okay. Um, a love story for Bobby Long. John Travolta. And finally, next of kin. So that's what you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two plus the mega, the mega one, the alien one. Twenty-two plus the mega one. Hey, Mr. Turtle Trader. Hi, Mr. Turtle Trader. All right, we have Craig at 25. Any other interest? I'm just doing a bad, just a minute. Walk around calling cat, dude. Okay. Did we close it? To um, Craig, we're gonna go twice now. Is mortal that moral thoughts part of it? I don't know what's going in. All right, we're sold to Craig for twenty five. Awesome deal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Lot number 21, movies to Craig for $25. Wolf. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to do this piece of jewelry. Not tonight, Dave. Oh, <gasps> you did? Thank you. <laughs> 23 cents. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's 23. It's probably like 14 cents, but it's okay. I'm good. I'm like it. I'm so excited. <laughs> good night, Amy. Um, so, um, so Craig, you don't want an invoice. You just ra would rather pay Venmo. T, does he have, what does he do with Venmo? Does he put like an I don't have Venmo. That's why I didn't know you had it. I have no idea. I know nothing about it. So is it, you guys, is it an at sign in front of the name, in front of my name? Is that how Venmo works? Oh, I want to learn how to do Venmo privately. I don't want people to know, um, you know. So, hey, Joe, DG. I have to figure out how to do that. Maybe the hustlers can teach me or maybe Summers can teach me how to put it on private. 
do you know is it at do i put at and then my my name because i it's my real name it's donatella Bottolino is is my venmo account Craig, if you know, let me know. But that's what it is. It's my it's my real name. I use my real name for just about everything. Yes, an at. The treasure hustlers said, yeah. It's just it's the at sign. Yep. Okay, I'm going to show this beautiful. Um, it's Mexico 925 and it has a crown. So that must be the maker's mark. And this is what it is. I believe it's blue lapis. It's very beautiful. I'll give you the weight on it. It's very, very he heavy. Um, And I would like to start this at 40. It's 27.2 grams. 27.2 grams. And that's what it looks like. And you can see how big it is. It's a beautiful piece. It's like the blue lapis is like dripped inside of it and it has a very beautiful clasp on it tammy comes in at 40 it has a nice strong clasp on it very beautiful clicks right in froggy wants to know the length froggy the length on it is It is, my daughters were eyeballing this, but they eyeball everything. Um, it's seven and three quarters, just about eight. It's just about eight. Thank you, Autumn Grace. It is beautiful. How many DVDs and how much? I have one more bucket of DVDs here that I can show. And that's the end of my DVDs until I find more. But these movies that I got this time are really beautiful. I mean, really awesome. The bracelet's really beautiful. Do you have to look up and under the name you used? They have to look you up under the name you used. I used my name, Donatella Bottolino. Froggy's at 42. Thank you, Froggy. It's really pretty. Forty-five to Tammy. Um, you guys, also, um, I'm gonna grab this link. I have to put some more links up, but this, um, this uh, three five eight five, Craig. Three five eight five, yeah. Here, this is the contractor bags that I use, mm -hmm. and I have scoured for the best price. There's the link for the heavy duty contractor bags. These contractor bags are awesome. Um, they're so thick. Oh, there it is. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. All market paid. Venmo. Thank you. All right, Tammy's at 45. Is there any other interest? Um, Froggy, Froggy's at 47. Thank you, Froggy. And thank you, Tammy, so much. Appreciate it. It's nice and clean and I didn't clean it.
Right? You got some good movies. I know. I mean, I, I heard that movies are starting to sell again because um, a lot of people have done away with their internet. They're not internet. They're, um, what's it called? Um, cable. Huh? Cable. cable. Did you disconnect your cable? Mm -hmm. You did, right? Because you didn't watch TV anymore. No. I haven't no. watched TV since before January. I know, right? So, yeah. Cable, yeah. So it's on the rise. Movies. People are buying movies because, you know, they, they disconnected their... Uh, they're becoming desirable again. So when I find them, I'm like, score. All right. We got Tammy at 50 and Froggy's out. Oh, Tammy, thank you. $50 for the blue bracelet, Tammy. Right, Sylvia, or everything's on YouTube. Or, I mean, I have Amazon Prime, so you can watch movies on there. And we have Netflix and Hulu. Well, God, they were they stole from us for how many years? Yeah. I, I always said they were like the the mafia. Calm, yeah. Calm, calm crap. Can't stand them. They're awful. <coughs> really awful. They stole from us. For, like we were at their mercy for years and years and years. We really were for a really long time. All right. I'm going to show another piece of jewelry. This is adorable. It's got a little bell on it. And it's all sterling. It's all sterling silver. And I'm going to start it at 30. Let me show you how cute it is. It says NV925 on it. And look at the detail on it. It's got that nice... No, Nance P. There's not enough hours in the day. I did not... Um, even the, the little, I don't know what that's called. The toggle has, um, nice designs on it. I'll give you a measurement and I'll give you a weight. The measurement on this is, <coughs> it measures at eight and a half inches and it weighs, this would be such a cute Christmas present for someone with the little bell on it. And it weighs 17 grams. 17 grams. Um, I'd like to start it at, I, I think I'd like to start it at 30, to be honest. $30. The chain is awesome. The detail is great. It's not cheap stuff. Nice quality. It's got a nice sound. Hey, Joe, flipping flamingos. Welcome in. Is there any interest? If not, we'll pass it. All right, let's pass it. No one's interested in it. Let me see if there's another piece here that someone might be interested in. This is a really beautiful piece. Let's see if anybody's interested in this. This is 925 also. We'll start this one at um, 30 as well. We're still on lot number 22. And I'll give you the weight. The weight is... 13.3 grams, and look at how pretty this one is. This is very dainty. <clears throat> Bless you. It was a cough, not a sneeze, but thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was a sneeze. It's multi strands of silver, and then every so often it has one of these little clips holding it together with the flower. And it's nice size. You can see how big it is. And it's $30 to start. Tammy said, didn't I just buy lot 22? Oh, yes, 23. Thanks, Tammy. My mistake. Sorry, honey. You did. 
This is lot 23. Thank you. Andrea wants to know the length. The length on this is... It is seven and a half exactly without the clasp. With the clasp, it's eight. It's eight with the clasp. So it's eight inches. It's very unique. Pass you guys. It does look gold. See, for me, it's not Tammy because, um, yeah, Andrea, you're you're little. Um, for me, it's not because I have I have big wrists, but for someone who's little, it is. Okay, we'll pass on that. And okay, I have one more piece that I'll show you in the silver. This one's 925. Let me see what it says on it. This says several things on it. It says 925. It's M I L O R. M I L O R. Is that the designer? M-I-L-O-R is the name on it. Made in Italy. Made in Italy, M-I-L-O-R. This is what it looks like. I'm going to weigh it. And then I'll give you a length on it. It weighs 8.5 grams and it is, it is um, seven and three quarters, seven and three quarters. And this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. This is what it looks like at a distance. And I would like to start this off at, that's the, this is the inside of it. This is the front side of it. It's got like a little pattern on it. You can see it's really pretty. And I'd like to start this off past Oh, the other bracelet. That was the last slot. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd like to start this off at $30 as well. Yeah, it's really beautiful, Andrea. Very pretty. It's got a nice big lobster claw on it, and it's Milo, M-I-L-O-R, is the designer on it. M-I-L-O-R. Any interest? Mary Ness comes in at 30. Good night, Frank. Good night, Frank. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Is the eight inch still available? Um, this one, this one here, Mr. Turtle Trader? I think, I don't know if, if that's what he's, yes. Yep. You want to do a buy it now for $30 on that? I'll sell it to you for $30 for a buy it now. Yes. Yes. Okay. You got it, honey. Okay. So that's lot number 23, Mr. Turtle Trader. 
for $30. And I'm going to call that strands of silver bracelet. Okay, so this is number 24. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. Did anybody? Oh, Mary Ness came in at 30 on this one. Is there anybody else that's interested in this one? Or should we give it to Mary Ness? It's so pretty. Oh, nice. Mr. Turtle Trader said Christmas for Mrs. Turtle Trader. Oh, she's going to love it. All right, we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning. Mary Ness. We're sold to Mary Ness for $30. Congratulations, Mary. And this is the Milo Sterling. Um, Mr. Turtle Trader, I'll put it in a cute little pouch and I'll put it in a square little box and um, and you can just take the label off of it and wrap it and, and put it under the tree. Unless you want to put it in a nice box, that's up to you. I looked for nice... Um, bracelet boxes, but they're just, they're just too expensive. You know, when I'm selling a piece of jewelry for $30 plus shipping it, plus you're paying for, you know, a box plus the little pouch. It's just, yeah, it just doesn't. I mean, I, you know, if I can find them for less money, I hate to go up on my prices because of a box, I mean, but it's nice to be able to offer people boxes unless I, you know, do it as like, an ad to the jewelry. Can I put you in T? Yeah. Uh -huh. Unless I, unless I do it as like an add on, you know, if somebody buys a piece of jewelry, I can say, I can offer you this box for, you know, $2 or something, but those velvet clamshell boxes, the nice ones with the elastic, mm -hmm. them, they're really expensive. They're really expensive. Hi, Joanne Young. Thank you so much. I do. Thanks. You'll pay. I'll pay you can hold and ship later, Donna. I'll pay you. You can hold and ship later. You don't want me to ship it out right away? I can ship it out tomorrow. Oh, cool. Now I can see the other woman. <laughs> you considered the other woman. <laughs> it's expensive to buy boxes, right, yeah. Tim? It is, honey. I've been looking. Trust me. I haven't been able to find any that are inexpensive. That's why I bought those little, the little pouches. Right, right. Because I was just wrapping things in like bubble wrap. And I'm like, oh, I got to switch this up a little bit and make them look a little bit um, safe postage. Oh, you mean if you buy something else, Mr. Turtle Trader? In the following weeks, I could do that. I could put it aside. And if you want to pay for it, and I'll just put it aside. That would be awesome. And then that way, yeah. No, Donna, I meant I could only see you, but not her. Haha, <laughs> just hearing her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you meant. Oh, thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. I'll do that. That's awesome. Thank you. I was looking this week for boxes. Hi, hi, Sylvia. Sylvia, if you find some that are inexpensive, and oh, please, if you do look around Amazon, please be sure to use my link. <laughs> Please be sure to grab my link and go shopping <laughs> uh, on Amazon with my link because <laughs> I do earn a little percentage. <laughs> but if you know, seriously, all kidding aside, if you find some jewelry boxes, <laughs> so oh, nice. like, yes, it fun because we came on at four and I had just seen it, but um. I have to read it again. I know you asked something about the registration or whatever. I'm not sure. Do you have a new address and you need to fill out a new form? I can certainly drop a new form. Um, I'll, I'll leave it there and just go ahead and fill it out. As I think you might have a new address. Oh, okay. Hey, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hi, honey. Um, so did I burn you out? We've been on for five hours. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm just. You've been going, going, going. 
And I was, you know, like last night, up, up, up. <laughs> oh, me too. I know. I'm going to go eat my Chipotle under my Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty out in the living room. I just I just took a picture. I just what, dropped it in the chat. It, but I can send it in an email too. Look at you guys. I put up my Christmas tree. I did that today. Like a crazy, crazy lady. Just got back from dinner. Hi, Kelly. We're just getting ready to go off, honey. I don't know if um, Robin's going on for her late night tonight, but if you do, she's in the chat. Robin, feel free. I, I haven't checked um, how long for your link to get money. I think I get it right away, I think, because um, the Treasure Hustlers let me uh, helped me set it up like last like last Thursday or something. And then I was on the phone with them on Wednesday, on Monday, right? Are you girls still in the chat? Do you girls remember? I think I, I think, and then we went in on Monday or something and um, there was like $3 and 14 cents in the account. So four people bought trash bags. It tells you what people buy, but it doesn't tell you who the people are. It just tells you what you've earned for revenue um, on the certain items. So four people went in and bought trash bags. Um, two people bought a loop and then two people bought, um, so it was nine, nine purchases total and two people bought like one bought an oil and, and then something else. Yeah, Sandra, I put my Christmas tree. I didn't get my shipping out, but I got my Christmas tree up. The girls wanted to put the Christmas tree up. So I'm like, you know what? This house could use some cheers. Okay, Charlotte Trader, no problem. Yeah, so it was like a week maybe. And I, you know, I got nine orders in a week. And a partridge in a pear tree. Um, yeah, so yeah, so that's good. Um, sure, Tammy. Absolutely. I'll put it right on the list. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to go. You know what? Um, let me see. Tammy. So, you know, my, you know, my staples, you know, tea staples, you know, she has all those staples and you know, my staples, my makeup, my, um, Oh, Justin, I don't know. Um, I have no, no I know somebody just mentioned that Moonstone Mamas is going at 930. She does jewelry though. So I don't know mm -hmm. if that's an interest to you. Thanks, Cherise. Yeah, we're not done decorating it yet, but it's it's up and some of the ornaments are on it. Um yeah, so makeup lots, plush lots, Disney lots. I would even do mystery clothing lots. Um, if anybody's interested in a mystery clothing lot, I've got some really great clothing right now oh, that Kelly's I can't be on with Moonstone Mamas tonight. Okay, Kelly. I will be on Moonstone Mamas. Oh, Kelly, why did you say something? Drop the link, honey. Dog lots, yes. Oh, yeah, dog lots. Yes, Susan Arrington. Thank you. Cherise says, don't forget to no, look at no, the... I, Cherise, do me a favor. I didn't write it down. Just to, let me write it down, the, the, the name that you're looking for again, honey, please. Pat D's. Michelle P, honey, I'm going to invoice you tomorrow. You guys, there's Kelly's link, Moonstone Mamas. Um, make sure you go over and support Kelly. Do they sell real trees in Florida? They do, Sandra, but they're, they, they have no smell. And they are so flipping expensive. They're so expensive. It's crazy. I like, know, Carla. Uh, and we have volume ceilings. So the kids have always, you know, they always want like big trees. Like we always do like 14, like 14 foot trees, like 13, 14 foot trees. And they're so expensive. Some of the live trees down here can go, depending on like the type of pine can go for as much as like $500. 
it's do they go for that much where you are too t um we've never spent that i buy a real tree. i mean i've never spent that either i buy a real tree every year um i think that i can't remember the one year we when we first moved in the house, I actually did my artificial tree in the front window it was before we had done all our home improvements. So our, what is our dining room now used to be our family room. And I did, they have cathedral ceilings in there. And I did a 14 foot real tree in there. It was a nightmare. I needed a ladder to put all the ornaments on. Um, between the stand and the tree, yeah, we might've spent close to that. Plus my son was How much? close to $500 with the stands because it needed that really big metal stand. It was tremendous. It was 14 feet or something. And uh, my, my, my youngest was like two and the dog was a puppy. So I had a, a, the, 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 you know, the gate around the whole thing. Anyway, it was the worst mistake I ever made. Oh my gosh. No, the most, the most we ever spent on a Christmas tree, I think was like, but the nursery did come and put it up and put it in the stand and set it at least, you know. Yeah. But. Yeah, no, the, I think the most we ever spent on a live Christmas tree um, down here. But that was, was beautiful. Yeah. It was like 200, I think, was the most we ever spent. But up north, we also had volume ceilings in our house. And we used to go. There was a place we drove to in New Hampshire that you would go on the back of a tractor, like mm -hmm. you, they had you your own tree. Yeah, yeah they had, I, I I lost all those pictures. The kids were little, four babies. Oh my God, I don't know what I was thinking. But um, you rode in the on a trailer in the back back of a tractor, and you sat on bales of hay, and the tractor drove you up the mountain. And you went and you picked out the tree and then they had their guys like walking around and you'd say, okay, I want this tree and they would trim it for you and, you know, throw it in the, the back of the, the trailer. It was like a tractor. And then it was like this thing where everybody sat and there was like maybe three or four families at a time sitting in this tractor and then pulling that was your trees. So it was like three pieces that this yeah. big tractor pulled up and down the mountain. And, um, it was awesome. It was a, just a big farm and, you know, hot cider and, oh my gosh, we did it every year. It was so much fun. And the kids were so little. It was like the first year I did it with Massimo and I was pregnant with Denali. The second year I did it with Massimo and Denali and I was pregnant with Angelina. The third year I did it with Massimo, Denali and Angelina and I was pregnant with Cesarina. <laughs> it was crazy. And, uh, and then right after, right after Christmas, we would, take down the decorations quick, quick, quick. And we would leave and come down to Florida for two months. Okay. That's when life was good. You guys. Yeah, me too. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. People that's are saying, oh, was God, 500, but believe me, that's when <laughs> that was a drop in the bucket way back when not when anymore. <laughs> my husband had um, a very, very successful um, union union welding shop um, in Boston. And he had contracts with some of the biggest Boston contractors and his specialty was st stainless steel handicapped railings and they kept him busy all new construction the stainless steel you know for handy like the handicap ramps and stuff that's what he would build and um he had it was a union shop and it was uh it was awesome I mean it was just awesome and I was a stay-at-home mom and just having babies after babies after babies and you know, I mean, I worked, you guys. I mean, I worked hard at home. I used to like, oh my gosh, I used to like, let me go get a picture. I'll be right back. No, so I just spoke. I never had kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we were lucky. We're still lucky. It's just, you know, different times. Different times. You know, I had a successful business back then. My husband had a great job. I had a live-in nanny. Different times, different times. Things change, you know. And sometimes I find bigger isn't always better.
someday I'll do a YouTube channel about my whole life. Because <laughs> believe me, you guys would be surprised. <laughs> I'd be shocked. We just pulled this out with our with our Christmas stuff. It's a um, photo album, and this was my here. I'll put I'll put this was my living room. This was up north. This was my living room. The tree was massive. Those those were. I had three Palladian windows in the living room, and those windows were 15 feet tall, the Palladian windows. And that's, you know, the tree that we used to put up. I made those drapes. I used to sew. I always had, look at the high chairs, always high chairs in the house. I still have that big cedar chest. Um, but that was in 2002. And then this was... Um, the other side of the room, I used to decorate it. And look at all the Christmas cards we used to get. Oh, my gosh, so many Christmas cards. And that chair was Ricky's grandmother's chair. I loved that chair. Loved it so much. Uh, someday I'll do a, a montage of pictures of... Um... <laughs> Here's Ricky laying in bed with... There's Denali. That's Angelina. And there's Massimo. Ricky Lane in bed. That was our bedroom. Always a million kids in our bed. Oh my gosh. They were always in our bed. And I love this picture of, um, look at Denali touching Angelina's head. Oh gosh. <laughs> he was so protective of her. That was my Christmas card one year. <laughs> he was so protective of her all the time. Look at that little face of his. Isn't he the cutest baby ever? Oh my God. He had the most beautiful lips ever. Anyways, I don't want to bore people that are not interested, but um, we'll have Wes asking us if this is an auction again. No, I know. Sorry. You know what, you guys? It's just the way I am. I just, you know, I kind of just, yeah, put it out there. Talk about my life. Anyways, yeah, it's sweet, right, Tammy? That's when life was really, really good. I mean, not that life isn't good now, but when the kids were little, it was just it was it was just awesome. Yeah, it was. It was just awesome. Life was just so awesome. I mean, life's awesome now too. The kids are the kids are wonderful. I mean, you know they are, but it's a different kind of awesome, you know? It's right. Oh, thanks, Sharice. Thank you so much for saying that. Oh, mommy changed my diaper. When is Santa Claus coming? And now it's, Mommy, give me some money. I'm going out. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me buy my own Christmas presents. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Yes, auction's over, Wes. Absolutely. Be on your way. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Thank you for saying that. You know what, Donna? There's nothing that was wrong with the way you just put it out there. There are people like me who had a family and now they're gone. And when you're alone, you like knowing, oh, Sandy, I'm so glad that you're part of our family because I consider each and every one of you part of my family. I love it. And I hate it when there's drama that go on. You know, I, I, it doesn't happen on our channel, but I know that it happens on other channels. But just always know that you can always come back here to T and I. And, you know, we do. We love you like family. And, and I've said it a million times. Thank you so much for supporting me and my family. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I would do. You guys have been such a blessing to us and um, such a huge support, huge, huge, huge support. And I work as hard as I do, not just for my family, but for you guys too, to bring you really awesome stuff that you can. Ronnie G. Hi, Ronnie G. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. I'm going to call you as soon as I get off live. I'm going to call you Ronnie G and say hello. All right. T. Thank you so much, honey, for hanging out with me for as long as you did tonight. I really wanted to get some lots sold. And thank you to everyone that bought something. And um, we love you. Joe, can I get an allowance? <laughs> what? Joe says, can I get an allowance? <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not that kind of family. <laughs> I have no toilet paper and no paper towels in my house. I can't give you an allowance. Hopefully he brought some home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.